put up in the background. Cool. Especially since I have several. Uh, Austria can actually take. Yeah, six. but you have one hundred six. I don't have what you have. I have. I have. Are you know what's also very good soundtrack to uh, the Harry? Some of the Harry Potter ones. Yeah, those ones I haven't really listened to. Okay, those well, were some of my new ones. Was I one have. I have. I have. I was. I've got everything about Goldsmith. Williams, Warner, Chazel Polidorus. Now, Horner's done a ton. I can make five work. And I've got I'll a lot of extended like soundtracks. One that, uh, I, like this. <clears throat> I should make sure I got this. Air Force so One was actually done by someone else. They rejected it. I got that rejection score. Oh, you had the rejection score? Really? So I had the Air Force One. I mean, I love that. Yeah, that's a good one. I, the I actually. Like chips over here. I, I downloaded an album. It's like songs from Tarantino movies. You know, it's yeah. really cool. Like Crimson Tide. You know, love that one. Right? I got your email by the way on the night that shine. I'll look into that. Um, yeah, it's in two weeks. It's different. You know, I'll I'll see what. If they have something similar around where I am, my guess is they probably do. Some they're probably, uh, probably you know, it's not a big major city that would have it. But there's so many more churches doing it this year. I think there's over 600 churches this year. I'm going to continue my odyssey while I'm finishing that up. It's fun. It's fun, and the kids appreciate. It. They're not just kids. Some of them. The girl I had that we were real small, she was in the 40s. Yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I had a tuxedo on and everything else. And she kept going, oh, yeah. She kept looking up. Oh, they have to have the same number of Shoot, the whole bunch of And then later, she got sick waiting to call her mom. The mom was upstairs right there. She came down and gave her a breath thing and this and that. And she well, you realize. What do you need for your victory conditions? Legally blind. And I'm probably going to send a lot of part of the Russian army down there. Downer. All right. That's funny. End game of all starting territories in Serbia. So I've got to get in there. I might have to fight for that. I might have to fight for Greece, too. Athens. Yeah. Athens. Where's Tour? Is that in Italy? I think oh, it is. I believe it is. Yeah, that's, that's that one in Italy. The, the top one, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that. Not enough time to get that. But I can get, we have uh, Romania, and then I need to get Bulgaria and Serbia. So I don't, I don't need to go over here at all. So if I force my way into here and flip this one, and then hopefully flip this one, but I don't know if there's enough time left for that. Either. And then the Turkish. You can take that other dollar. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Score one victory. Oh, you know, I guess the Turkish can take those and still get a victory point for it. So it doesn't matter which of them flips it. So I'll have the Turks start. Shooting for Greece and, and Bulgaria as well. Whoever gets there first, right? Yeah. Southern Persia. That's not going to happen. Tehran. That might happen. Right, so we're in summer of 17 now. Do we need to write in the bits for all? Let's do that. No, you want to throw a. Throw a 12 in the tower. I'm going to blame you for this year's event. Five. Where's the event chart? Good question. Front of events, right there. Mm -hmm. All right. 17. The, the uh, Austria-Hungary and German sailor revolts. Austria-Hungarian ships cannot move this turn. It says nothing about the German ships. That should probably be changed. The German ships can't move either. 
since both of them were bolted. I would think. You can ask Will to confirm. Okay. Yeah, they're not moving. They're stuck. at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Well, the fleets are out of action. It's they're a fish habitat. Well, that wasn't terribly bad. It's not like we're losing half our money. Yeah, not like the band. German Navy was going anywhere. <laughs> no. Damaged ships, two little subs, and a torpedo boat. All right, so the Ottomans aren't going to have any victory points at this point. I mean, maybe if they flip one of the uh, other neutrals, but they've been recalled. Or if the ships include subs. I don't need to clarify. I mean, maybe if they get one of these, but they're not going into southern Persia. They're not going into Tehran. They're not going back into Transcaucasia. They're not going into Cairo. They might be able to get to Cyprus. And then it says, or any new territory that is both worth one and in a supply path to Constantinople. Well, I was kicked out of Russia, so that was... I was say, um, yeah, but if you keep building, if we keep, keep this game rolling, we might have time to break that. Because you can build up faster than what they can. Yeah, it's about even with this supply line now. Yeah. All right. It'll be tricky. How much money do you have? Ottomans? Yeah. Uh, with German help? No. How much money are you getting? You want to actually? Do you want to send that money to the Turkish? Oh, wherever you need Yeah. Yeah. Wherever you need it for. You're getting twelve. You can buy four guys. Now I put out more than that because I can build one, two, three right there. But I'm getting I'm bringing six these guys from, over. Six from Germany. I'm just saying you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Here That's just to keep up with what's going on there. Yeah. Brazil. Argentina. Belgium. Belgium. Got Belgium. Great. Got two Belgium aligns to Germany. Why don't you just change out your man? I have to put the flag marker down. Belgium aligned to Germany. Okay. All right, we can go in there. <coughs> Do not flip Denmark. Leave it neutral. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's Denmark. Belgium, I'm going to have to scramble a hold now. Uh, did we um, roll a random bit? Yes. yes. What was it? Austrian and German sailor revolts. Austrian ships cannot move this turn. Darn. I added in there German ships cannot move since it said German sailors revolts as well. Okay. The ships include submarines. Or does it only refer to warships? That's a terminology question. You mean surface warships? Yeah. What do you guys think for. I don't know that German submarine captains are any different than the rest. I think, I would think so. Probably be all together. Yeah. Have to find out what really happened. Well, I mean, they were ships in port and stuff like that, and yeah. but they weren't any ships that were out to sea. But it could be that just it disrupts all the logistics and the navy, and you know, I mean, we're gonna have to decide what is what the German sailor revolt. So the subs get affected or not? I don't know. What were you thinking when you wrote it? I wasn't thinking about subs. I'm going to roll for tech in the meantime. Okay. So we've got counter battery fire. I would not include some. Miss defense in depth. Miss wartime economy. That's because you're not Miss. Playing. Written. All right. Hey, I'm not the one that got thrown out. We're still in the
Okay, so only surface warships. Can they attack this turn? What if they're out of sea? For the ships or for the subs? For the sur for the subs, so we'll say surface warships. Okay. Um, it says they cannot move. It doesn't say about the zone they're in. What if they want a convoy raid? They're Based off that, I would say they could, because all the random events says they can't move. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to probably agree with Bob not to include the subs, because the reasoning behind the revolt was they didn't want to go into another attack. Okay. But the German submarines are primarily used for convoy raiding yep. and okay. hit and yep. run tactics. Good enough. It's not a uh, yes, big level And then nobody is watching. Oh, well, somebody's watching. That one us. Yeah, I haven't put it up yet, so hey. Somebody's out the there. Hey, if you're out there listening to this cast, to All right, my only attack world. for this turn is going to be a convoy raid. <clears throat> and attrition damage. Maybe uh One, maybe three. I mean not something too complicated, but you could say the subs can't engage in surface combat, but they can convoy raid right? something like that. I don't know. I don't want to make it too complicated. All right, who is Britain? Mr. Friend? Close dice roll, please, sir. Or convoy reading. I will roll. roll it. Okay. Anyone can roll. Or maybe we can say I don't no, have to roll. no combat movement. Or something. Yeah, I didn't get anything. In the dice tray. It will end in the dice tray and bounce out. These things are bouncy. Attrition damage in Paris. One hit in Paris. Okay. Mm, just to do the work. Let take up one of my guys. No combat movement. I'm going to move you. Oh, yeah, U.S. deliveries. We got those. What are you getting that stuff for? Oh, we got to deliver to you too. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's Italian. He gets delivered. Finished Civil War. These guys have to win the Germans' turn. Is that right? <coughs> uh -huh. So the Finnish Civil War is over. As it was, quickly. So now they just become neutral? Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's, let's see what that. 
damage, factory damage is done there. One, five damage to that factory, and six damage to that factory. Dang. Okay. Well, quick battle. Cool. Could you get twice the damage, please? Yep. Alright, let me place this stuff. It's a colonial. I assume these go to your box, yeah? For sure. Right. Oh. Okay, Jeremy, you're done. Sending in troops to uh, help the Austrians hold the defense line against Italy. Cool. Hopefully that will help free up some of your guys. <clears throat> so if you can't influence the Serbs and the Greeks, maybe you can take them by force. Mm -hmm. I might have to influence yeah, the Serbs by force. Take our own few Nope. Yeah. That's right. Mountain back on artillery as well. Well, I finally decided maybe there's just enough occasion. Hey, Will. Yeah. yeah. If something's on escort duty, right. can they go attack a sub? And I really probably should. Uh, hold on. You'd have to pull it off escort duty at the beginning of the turn. If the sub is on that, that's safe. You have to you add your on your turn. You decide to to renounce escort duty. So so play going on escort duty is your only move in combat move. But once it's your turn again, you can be like I'm removing the escort marker and not staying on escort duty. And then one is normal. This one is not on escort. I don't think you can just attack a sub because it has first strike. It's gonna just choose to submerge. You gotta have the airplane with you, right? So you could I mean you could start spreading out your escorts on that line. Do we need new escort rules? Is it too easy for that sub to raid? Can't ever catch it. Yeah. Tell you the truth, you know, in the beginning, even like with the German unit. But I mean, you're right. You, you do have to come up with some sort of uh, factor for dealing with longer lines than shorter lines, right? Well. I mean, I'll just keep. And as you're buying new units. To Chase it out. So, yeah, yeah. I don't like it. You know, it takes too many resources. For what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think just you can cheap the cost here. We cheap the cost of TPDs a little bit. I don't know what they cost now. Then people start using them as cam fodder. They're like, what, eight now? Yeah. What are the, uh, what are your Q-ship rules? Look at them. Yeah. Like, provide, uh, something that they. The, uh, I almost wonder if that might be. Like, there's maybe a tech. The orange. There should be. A the Q ships too. should have a tech. The Q ships have a tech that helps seat. you. Or like that, right? Yeah. That's good. Because then it doesn't it give the. Uh, doesn't it give the basically the sea lines. The ability to defend themselves gives them their own sort of innate um, defense value. I've got, the Q-ships um, were designed to draw subs to the surface. Yeah, you know. Here's my two artillery into the German line over there. Nope. What do you think the timeline for the development and production of this game is for 1914? Ships. I mean, between now, convoys attacked by a submarine have a one defense factor. 
a year? Probably. Well, you got a lot of the pieces already. Yeah, it'll be a different mold. Well, yeah, but I mean, you got a lot rules, of rules. It's the map. Oh, oh, it took us. It took us at least a year to get from the end of the Kickstarter to the. <coughs> here's your box for America, right? Wasn't it like a year? Oh yeah, and if you go the Kickstarter route, yeah, I can. Well, I'm I'm saying, irregardless of the actual stuff that happened during the Kickstarter, from the day the Kickstarter ended, mm. where okay, here's our money, here's our plan, to the day that we could deliver a box, it was almost a year. Like we lost all of 2013 and 2014 of our lives. <laughs> Kickstarter, the timelines on Kickstarter are almost always. Uh, unrealistic right? yeah, for a well, lot of the games yeah because everyone on there is fairly inexperienced with the production timeline and there's a like we figured out there's a huge learning curve for every detail whether it be how your graphics are to be laid out to what the you know approval process is for getting the molds done to just getting the stuff physically on a container ship in China mm -hmm. and have it show up here. And then we had all these crazy events that happened. Like the week before it was, the container ship was supposed to show up in Oakland, where I live, the whole port went on strike. So there was a fleet of cargo ships out in the Pacific waiting to get into San Francisco Bay. Wow. Just like, you know, because nobody was unloading ships. They were sitting underneath the cranes, and there's no crane operators. Uh, so that was weird. Uh, got all kinds of stuff like that. And then, you know, once they got here, because we had the cardboard done at one factory and the plastic done at a different factory, Doug had to put it all together. Yeah, I remember seeing that and on the updates. Yeah. Well, Doug, if you ever find yourself in that situation, and I'm only a part timer. Uh, you can just say, Bob, come to Tulsa. I got something yeah. for you to do. I got a spare bedroom, and that's all I need is food and water, and a place to <laughs> place to lay place my place. head. There you go. Um, I'm trying to show force. You did a good job. So, <clears throat> Train Caucasia. You were in there. Should he have been, again, because our rules aren't as developed, should he have been drawing the income while he was there? I think so. Yeah. From what I read. So and if you, if you leave one Brit in there, this is your income. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. I have to leave someone there? Where did the little well, Mitchell come from? Somebody take it. Well, the, is the that, thing is. is that part of the rules? Well, it, well, it's, it's a non. Russia becomes a non-sovereign entity. Right. So if Britons are up in Transcaucasia, they're like, yeah, that's an so extension just, of our. Uh, so I just leave someone there. I would think if if you don't, what? you Why really don't that? have a means to enforce. Because he popped it. up in the Civil War, I think. Right. Well, if he popped up, then you got to get kicked out. Not um, according to the rules. That's only. Um, I got kicked out. The Austria-Hungarians and the Ottomans get kicked out. Because really, the peace is between the Reds and the Central Powers. Okay. So my guess is he wrote that in. You know, you guys got to leave, uh, <clears throat> with the exception the Germans are saying, well, we're going to stay and kind of force our will, right? Uh, I mean, all other were, locations there were British coming into parts mm -hmm. of Russia at that point in time. Um, so I would see them as uh, I, I would say that maybe that troop doesn't show up for ease of and then if that's just the British the British have uh, their forces there okay well, you, you could your, definitely do it that way Brit Rundle back in if then. you if you kept it there that wouldn't be so bad either <laughs> I mean well I mean so let's just play this out so what normally would have happened was, as soon as we re you recaptured it from the Soviets, they would have said, "Boom, okay, now it's now it's Soviet." But there'd be British troops there. The minute it becomes non-sovereign again, 
Britain would say, well, I'm going to, since I have a troop there, I'm going to claim it. Well, if I remember correctly from history, mm -hmm. <clears throat> when the, the various allied forces partnered up with the whites, yeah. I mean, they were anti-red. They partnered up with the whites. That's what I'm saying. It, mm -hmm. it could stay there. And you could yeah, you could theorize that the Brits are there to keep the peace. Oh, by the way, just happen to be reaping the income, you know, mm -hmm. off the territory. Mm -hmm. Especially that area. Yeah, the, the, it's you know these are historically accurate force levels for the Ukraine and for what was around. Um, the the real issue is that if we were playing the Russian Civil War, the Russians would just to rash Ukraine in about two turns, and that would be the end of the Ukraine. Which they could pretty much do now, except yeah. that one zone. Well, that's kind of why I was, I mean, like I kept the artillery for a reason. Um, you know? So, I mean, the half is a very arbitrary level. We might have to just reset Russian force levels to what they should be to protract the war to its, you know, historical the only good thing, yeah, the good thing about potentially scripting exactly what the Soviets get mm -hmm. is you don't know what half will be in other games, yeah, right? right? I had 32 units, so I left 16, primarily the artillery, and Dream. and then I prioritized infantry and cavalry after that. I think we're going to script it to make it playable. Yeah, the Spanish Civil War is scripted. <coughs> when the war is over, you read set for neutral Spain. Right. Yeah. And what you have left over All these is like your things. reserves that come into action if you ever get pushed back into war. Yeah. Are you talking during, are you talking about the expansion or what's written in the thirty six rules? The expansion. The expansion, yeah. In the thirty six rules I actually just leave whatever is there my sheets at? from the end of the war. Yeah. I just leave it there. Obviously they're not aligned any with the axis so they had to be realigned yeah. but whatever was there whether whatever the germans lend lease and such if they win it whatever's there yeah so i just kind of leave it britain should be done okay right. is britain down any i don't think i am i'm up yeah, you'd be up for that one. Those three and these. Yep. yep. Do you place uh, your war credit no, request? It's, just, it's a major part of what you need to be doing. Same Every thing. turn. Uh, tank needs to go on the board. Okay. Just credit. Remember. And then, uh, well, with the uh, Russian situation, mm -hmm. are the Austrians allowed back in? Or are they kicked out for three turns like the Germans? <coughs> Probably with the Germans, right? I hate the black shirts just to represent. They <laughs> have to get kicked out just to make so, it easy. But they get to keep the income, maybe? I don't know. What's, what's, I don't have any of the income, but sure. Whose turn? Mine. Oh, okay. He's talking about me. Now, Will, mm -hmm. what I did, of course, I moved consolidated, yeah. put more stuff in there. Brought my cavalry in, so I got two there. Built a cav there, there, about built a man there, there, built okay. uh, built some stuff in there. I gotta kick yeah. him out. And this stuff will be coming in next turn. Just it's kind of a whole he's uh he's got five. Oh, I bet Serbia in Did you see my uh because they don't start at neutral. Uh, I would have to go to the um, I think they can. When you get down and come over there, I'll come in close. Actually, pretty fast because I made the order back. That's tricky. Okay. You're not going to be able to influence any of the white Russians, right? No. So I would say Serbia would follow suit with them. So I'm going to have to find a way to get in there voluntarily. So All right, I'll do one roll for Bulgaria. Very one no. Bar. One roll for Greece. Yes. Circle gets a square. Wipe out the 
Hey Doug, need some more U.S. Yeah, so he'll call you a couple more times. Yeah, don't even get a chance to say I don't know that. There's no Larry here. You're lying. Hey Doug. Where's Douglas Big Friend at? Well, I thought it was over here. Douglas, <laughs> do you know what the small but mighty is? Small but mighty, no. What is it? Something unreleased. There's a no. bunch of these stuff printed. Um, Norge? Let's see, that is. They're Norge ships? Norge. Oh, they're probably Norwegian. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've actually I recognize that. I I think it's uh, in development on the website or something. But um, if you guys uh, want to work on any of these expansions for Global, do it. Yeah, you can make Golden. a lot of money. A lot of money. Expansions for Global. Tons, just like getting a new car like every week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, sure. it's just like crazy. All right. So well, there's some y'all need to know it. No, I'm through this. All right. We need some more of these. Just break uh, into the ducks and into our hands. He doesn't care. Um, so. Because we are. Boom. Don't. I'm going to have to wait another turn. Don't mess with the USA. I'll get you. Okay, yeah, so I'll I get did you. This. Did you inform somebody? <laughs> this hasn't been published. I don't know if they will publish it, but it's essentially it's a diplomacy. Mm -hmm. I built this off. We're gonna publish it, Bob. But you know what? Hey, if anybody wants to work on it, it's the time. It's not. It's not the love, guys. It's the time. I know. Y'all want it right? Well, I I gave it. I think it's ready to go. Well, if, here's but, what has to happen, Bob. It has to get like finished product level, like. Oh, we need a logistics man. We need somebody who's like detail oriented. Is this a way to influence neutrals at 36? Yeah, so essentially. Um, I love it. I built this. I basically took the idea from another game, another board game. Uh, I think it was Victory in Europe or something like that. 
anyways and so essentially you pay money and you can move the roundel it's a little more expensive to move them off neutral and you can also pay money and influence the to go backwards so you know and the 36 <coughs> rules take precedent so if you're smart you really don't need to influence siam because they're eventually going to go down the dollar so i can get one more but uh um, someone and i haven't really thought about well what if i mean could you essentially influence siam where they don't go japanese i don't know if you'd want to spend that kind of energy anyway all right see but um so i did that um and all the rules are actually right here but I, there's like a two or three pager he helped me work on it yeah um that, Th this is going to be i think standard in 1.4 okay and standard in it and in, in inner war we might have something and in, in, it might i think it's going to cross and the other one into world war like, one too i like the idea uh where my um, uh, two artillery into in serbia okay. okay hey bob oh they break what do you feel about dropping the influence to one point? What do you mean? About well, you know how it's a dollar here. Oh, drop it to a dollar. It would yeah. get. It would get. It would get acted on a lot more. Yeah, I think so. I could. I could certainly do that. Is your success based on a D twelve or D six? Um, D twelve. Bob, Bob I have uh, some notes on there. Hey, I mean, uh, we could. I'll give it to this three guy more too, and you can play with it, but. Yeah, it has to be so, play tested a little bit, but we kind of are using the same thing here. So the veteran status, silver and gold, again, Will kind of tried to fight me back, and he wanted individual units. This is a way I think you can recognize groups of units. But I had to recognize the fact that if you have a core group of units, let's say five units, one, and they're silver or gold status, if you split them off to build more units, which is kind of what every nation does, right? They take mm -hmm. they take a division and they turn it into three divisions by splitting up the veterans yeah. and putting a bunch of newbies in the unit. Um, so you you can start to grade your status to the point where you, you're no longer right. a veteran organization. But <clears throat> essentially, um, yeah, I talk about any combination of three homogeneous land, sea, air. Anyway, yes. Um, sure. And so... You basically can increase your status as long as you either don't retreat or, you know. Um, I can convert and one. And then I talk about other things that sure. um, remain in place. Again, the core rules take precedence. Right. Um, and but I played with it, and then it... It's one of those things, that, again, you have to Does kind of a uh, factory. I don't think there's a factory. There is you have to be cognizant of it's like I got this. I got this core group of infantry and armor and I want to keep it yep. in its veteran status. So Where's I got to make factory? sure they win their fights. It's almost like you're know. airborne, right? You know, you don't want to lose them. So I got to make sure they win their fights. If you want to write an expansion, Bob, and put it in global like and just be another global author. You know, I'm not. Well, Doug wants me to work on there Korea, is. a modern Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would like to see these get published. I'd love to see Kursk get published. Mm -hmm. Kursk is ready. I mean, it. There's there's nothing not ready with Kursk. I'd like to see your your. I mean, I'd like to. You know, and I've talked to Doug about your stuff before. Um, it's up to you. Like, I think you know what what it's going to take to publish Kursk is for you to go through and make a piece list for Doug. Yeah. It's done. Okay. It's, it's in the book. When I when I do a game, right, and I can yeah. I can show you when I do a game, I count up the number of pieces that you need as molds. Right. And then I actually I do this for my own self, but also for the interest of gamers. But right. I will I will look at things like um what's so the I starting ratio? My, uh, yeah. So you know artillery. the allies so have from. fifty units and the you know the axis have that. seventy units and mm -hmm. I, I will no just do some quick mind. statistics on that. Right. Yeah, I do the kind of the same thing. It's like five to seven should be our ratio. I mean, if you look at you look at what I did. In fact, I even went 
back through curse. I missed that whole thing. I got yeah. the setup chart. So I got I everything. Get, I did get a point um, through Bulgaria, so we only need one more. I've got the rules updated. And then how do you want Doug to post this? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, and he 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 had somebody jazz it up. Where did he go? Yeah, yeah, I mean. He so had somebody else, like, I mean, jazz you know, up my rules. Yeah, yeah. Right? So start working but essentially, but essentially, and I've even yeah. proofed it because, like, Kelvin has screwed this up. So yeah. I, I proofed it. Looks great. Right. There's one. You know, there's, for example, there's the correlation oh, of force. So, so oh, yes, how many of what type are in the unit or in the game? There's one there. That's the total numbers, but also, not going to find anything. I think I had, oh, he took it out. This is the, also the same numbers. I had an additional column that told you how many molds you need. Because you don't need 30 infantry pieces to play the game. You use chips. But he took that out. He's going to have, he doesn't have AT guns. I put it, right, he doesn't have, he doesn't have elephants. And, and when I've talked to Doug about that, I'm like, are you going to have this 3D printed? What are you going to do? Essentially, the game is ready, and what I do mm -hmm. is I will take an off-color tiger. Mm -hmm. That's the elephant, uh, yeah. right? Right. Or I'll take, uh, and then I use the uh, yeah, the, green, the uh, JS1 as the SU-152. Um, uh, so what you're going to have to do with Doug, because I've just worked with Doug on this a lot, is he's just going to sit on this till he has the pieces. Yeah. What you got to do is you got to either take out the AT guns, use a marker. Like if you could convert this into what he has already as existing pieces, you could publish it tomorrow. I tried. So he told me that's what he wanted in the game. Okay. So um, then <clears throat> it's ready. Then we got a hundred percent. Doug, when are you gonna publish Kursk? <laughs> Since he uh, gives me better pictures. This which is what he told, which is what he told me yesterday for the first time because I sent him pictures back in like October. Oh, okay. And very good. Uh, um, I, I want what I want to do is just tell him Will on the next thirty six release as well as fourteen. No longer are they going to just be download the rules, download this. We're going to let them download the rules for free. Probably a black and white version. Mm -hmm. That way they can look at them and read them. <clears throat> yeah. But when they buy the game, that's when they'll get all the charts. Right. And I want to make a rule booklet in color. I so, loved what you did. So they get it. You gonna do that with uh, the expansions too? No. Okay. Where, too much, too so much where money. do you want? Where like, do you I want these files? Book. Or you just want me to drop them straight on the? Yeah, just put them and drop. You're them gonna put this on the cover, right? Nope. Why not? I don't like it. I'm talking. You don't like that. Where do you want the file? I use that. Just put them on the you. entry. Oh, yeah. So this isn't final art. Not for version Let three. Me grab. So this is the, this is what it's going to look like if someone wants the current version. This is a good. Open up. Right. But for version three, we're changing. Okay. Um, Plus, I want awesome. I want to upgrade some of the pictures. that are you know they low res. Uh, yeah, we got a lot to do on this. Whose turn is it on this? Uh, I don't know. France, up. Oh, France is coming along. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, big daddy, big money. One. One what? One hit, Andrew. Where? Um, German lines from attrition. Which German lines? The two for Okay. Yeah. German lines with yeah, attrition. Yeah, I like how we have a ton of artillery. We're getting one. <clears throat> well, if, if, if everybody's, you no, know. they're in the trenches. Yeah. It's just a two. It's a one in six chance. So I'm getting it statistically. Okay, so that's the first thing France does. We're gonna grab two more dudes. Oh, I already put it here. Down. And go one, two, three. Oh, <laughs> 
All right. Uh, I don't know. How many? How many manpowers are around here? There's two. And then here. Two. Yeah. Gotta wish some people happy birthday, you know? Yep. Yeah. So some of this minor nation stuff. Yeah. So I guess what I'm going to do is I actually, the artist is going to be finished on my page. Yeah. <coughs> I had to call my father in law today at the 73rd birthday. Yeah. I'm just trying to, you know, whatever. Just face him. Maybe he gets done now. I don't have to keep that in the boxes. France is done. Anyway. I'm using US Factory. I didn't think I'd use this rule, but I'm using US Factories. Is that one's a number right there? I don't want to pay money to. Well, that one's actually pretty. Oh yeah, I forgot to use my Zeppelin. I'm, I'm actually moving this guy up here. Do you not have any yellow rockets to make, distinguish that as British? Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see here. We're gonna need four more of these. Okay, next up. Well, yeah, more yes. But you, can, but you can use the same color. Uh, the Ottomans? Ottomans? Ottomans, you're up. Okay. You guys handle France? <laughs> France has uh, come up. Um, Douglas, I've got a TBD building over here. I've got two new guy, two new friends of yours. Uh, Dad, they're going to take the Hijaz Railway up next turn. Um, actually, they probably only one of them could do that. Um, take what? And they might actually go after Jabal Shamar. Think so. so did we decide that the Turkish can can or cannot go into Caucasia? Where? These two. The Turkish? Yeah. Like if you like if you beat us, you could go yeah, you could take that. Well, no, you're probably at part of the peace settlement. Although because the only reason I ask is that's part of the victory conditions for the for the Turks. Um yeah, you should be able to take it then. Well, you should have told me that. I would have left a little bit more men there. Okay. Well, then, well, then reorganize it. Well, I would have left two guys there, but you can only bring two. But like that? A, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I can only bring two at a time. But you get a battleship with three dredge. You can fire into it. Yeah, it's going to be an amphibious salt, which is. <clears throat> Double cash. Cash. Yeah, into a this, this, yeah. this is what I think about the rules for forcing the straight. But I think there's some optional rules in there that you can try and force the straight, but you get like mine attack at five and the coastal artillery at you. <clears throat> All right. Probably next, then so we need to take care of this. Yeah. I probably can't. I brought him down. I've got one here, so. But I have I'll, he will attack oh, next right. turn. I got four going in. I'd go I'll do this just to thin him out. Just to, just to annoy you. <clears throat> uh, I can uh, group them on soon. 
There. Now I get to roll three dice. Okay. Three dice. Um, mountains minus one. There it was. Nope. Nope. Hmm. I'm not going to bog down the game with going as the Russians. I don't, I don't see any need for your purposes. Unless you want. Well, <clears throat> unless we want to do the Civil War. Well, that's what I would do. But So the Russians should at least take back Ukraine. Okay. Because um, what happens if the Russian Civil oh, War is not resolved? And well, war. I'm thinking that we're just going to start inner war fresh because um, I'd like to test it. Uh, I'd like to see what would have what would have happened based on our because we're not going to get to the end of the game. So well, the thing is, if you got the Civil War happens in World War One, you can't go okay. This will be resolved when we start the inner war game. There has to be some things that <clears throat> happen in World War One, at least. Well, I mean, if you're playing World War One through to inner war, then you're gonna you're gonna, you're gonna continue, continue what you've got set up. Right. If you're gonna, if you're not, then you're gonna. When did the Russian Civil War end historically? Twenty two, twenty three, something like that. So what you need is you need a uh, like if you're playing nineteen fourteen. To the end, of course, it gets resolved. If you're playing in a war, once the rest of the Civil War starts, you do your little breaking things apart. <coughs> way you, the game can still continue, but the inner war is not. I mean, the Civil War is not fought still. Anybody want to roll for the Ukrainians? Uh, the Germans. Yeah. Just roll. All right. Yeah. Roll. What, what do I need? Artillery. I'm rolling. He's out, anyways. Okay, I'll roll for him. Uh, yeah. One defense or two defense. Nope. Oh, yeah. And then here, artillery. Oh, I thought the artillery That's how got him. Got first strike. First strike. Yeah. yeah. So there was no room. Oh. You're on fire. Oh, yeah. Yay. And then. You got one more? No, yeah, that was it. No, I'm going to. Okay. 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 I've been putting pieces in there as well. So when I was setting up, yeah. you were short. I okay. had pieces. Oh, good. Yeah. These are going to be needed for inner war. All these TVDs. These militia are going to be. Ironically, the, the Russians get more money now than they were at the tail end. All right. The Russians are done. Okay. Where's, where's your Russian box? Right over here. I ever collect Italian TVs or Russian? I probably wrote Italian. It's right there. Yeah. 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 Sure. Thanks, sure. Sure. When, we're, when running out of stuff, I've been going over there getting stuff like militia markers, escort stuff. Okay, okay. well, I, I pulled some U.S. rondelles out of this. Yeah, if you don't mind, and I pulled. Some. Yeah, I had to pull some more British ones. Uh, that's the advantage of being in a warehouse. And then I'm stealing some damage markers for play testing. Um. Okay. Sorry, he puts that little caveat for play testing. For play testing. I need these. Don't Those are for 2025, actually. So. So I think <clears throat> I think my focus the next few months. If you want me to modify the diplomacy, I will. In fact, yeah. I do. Uh, who's going to be, so I guess my question is, who's going to be playing a game in the next few months of, so Andrew, you're going to probably be working on 25 a little bit. Yeah, we'll another, another play test of 25. I hope to play 36 in March. With the group? Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the group, but that's not set yet. Okay. But it'll be within three months. So you so, want me to knock it down to a buck to match the diplomacy that's going on in this one? Is that I, I like, like the buck diplomacy. I like yeah. that too. All right, so I'll, you think, I'll do that while I'm standing right here. I like the book. Yeah, because it'll take too long. It drains the money if you go. Well, Where people you, will not do diplomacy if it – I've just found that you'll only focus on one or two countries, and then it's right. forgotten about the rest of the game. So I can modify it right now. 
Okay. And you just play it based on a buck? That's also something to think about for Turkey at War, because diplomacy influence on Turkey is two bucks a roll. And that was something talked about with my friends. Yeah. Because there was so much military going on. We're like, man, it's two bucks. Okay. Well, um, so if we change one, we should try to keep it consistent. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to update all of the uh, expansions at once when we 1.4 comes out or 1.3 or whatever's next. That's right. Because uh, at that point, it's just going to, there's yeah. going to be a lot of small tweaks. Or, you know, if I've done it once, you know, the first six, get them all ready, the next six, you know. Yeah. As long as we get them done. Here's. Here's, here's some notes that I had on mine if you want to look at this. Well, I think you... Um, did I send this to you did, already? Yeah. Um, can I see where the journal um, reference sheet went? Let me, let me pull. I can go side by side and make changes um, right now. I want to... Um, I want to uh, define like this guaranteed support because some people will be like, well, I'll just lend lease to them. Um, or did you have to declare war? Let me see if you are. <clears throat> yeah, see, well, no, I had not. So. And then with these British ones, they should be the British roundel. Because the Union Jack is what Doug uses for the FEC. Okay. It's easy. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll make these changes right here. So um, I'm going to have some more changes as we go, but like, I think we're just going to go to this point by point. Um, <clears throat> okay. So uh, whose turn is it? It's America? Italy. Is that right? Um, yeah, I'll just finish. Do you need support? It's nice to have that IPP chart over there. But I think to give the people the option who don't want to use the sidebar along the bottom. The only bad thing about the ones along the bottom is like when Will's leaning over the table like that, you have a chance to knock it over. Why do you want me to remove add one if the subs hunt off the coast? That's actually in. I actually stole that because if oh, you if you had that in the um, you had that in the thirty six rules, if there's a submarine off the coast of Argentina or something like that, it's it's the Argentine. So I kind of <sighs> adopted that for the whole game and said, okay, if a if a sub is off the coast, kind of harassing a country, mm -hmm. then somebody else trying to <clears throat> influence them should get some benefit from that. Okay, how about plus one if enemy? Well, so this is this is where I get like rules crazy. Is enemy? Who's your enemy if you're neutral? Um, so, like, if enemy of the person that is trying to influence you. So, <clears throat> if, if the Germans have a sub off the coast of Argentina, and the Americans are go to influence them, it's America's enemy, is Germany. Well, both, so, well, yeah. it both the Axis and the Allies are trying to influence them. That well, wouldn't happen in the same round. Yeah. So, um, but, I mean, you had that rule already, at least, like well, I said. But what about this, if yeah. already leading pro-alignment? I don't understand that. Well, so, again, go back to Argentina, which, or let's just say, let's just say Denmark. If Germany is hovering off the coast and they're already pro-British, how did we know they're pro-British? It's, it's on the chart. So it's on the chart. But, but there's, that, there's a round of pre-printed, and it will also move. I, as, I, I understand what that means, but that term isn't defined in the rules. So other people it's are in gonna, the written rules. Okay. I, and I can make sure that it's clarified, but that's what the okay the whole testing piece. So, is. so if we say. This means that you're pro-German. Hmm? Having this round yeah. means that you're you're pro -German. predisposed to access. Whose turn is it? Exactly. It's that's mine. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Uh, 
All right, so U.S. aligned Argentina. The Argentinians are on the move. Actually, they that's a good question is whether they can move if they're not at war. They're probably subject to the same rules as the U.S., so I can say no to that. Um, the U.S. has built a bunch of stuff. The U.S. is delivering wound lease. Um, <clears throat> stuff's coming into port. Thank so, you, everyone. So when it's your turn, this tank you built over here, does it move one? <clears throat> if you pay. No, he, he built it. Uh, um, did you pay for it all up front again? It's a freebie. Uh, yeah, the points were uh, no because it, it should well it should move to the next box. Yeah. Um, and then on your turn, the U.S. Place, has already moved down yeah. all their other There's stuff. Yeah. The Italians move. have moved because it's already been paid for. Stuff. Italian, um, Italians build more crap, um, and they take off. Wait a minute, they can't do that. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. Did anybody want the first two seasons of Hunting Hitler? I can't think about that right now. All right, we're going to pull one there. It's on TV still. I can get it through cable. And I don't know. I think. That's all we can do. Really, what kind of problem? All right. And... The U.S. delivers more dudes. Or arms and real training support for the Italians, or brethren in arms. And I just need to change the weapon. So, the next step. Cool. That's it. Okay, done. Random event. Andrew, what uh, what are we on now, turn wise? Fall Seven. seventeen. Fall of seventeen. Oh, Roll the dice. For the naval base cost. Yes. I'll do it. Round. I want you to. All right, somebody else. Ready? Yep. One. That's because the one I rolled last time. Mexican yeah. Civil War. Revolutionary forces in Mexico make gains. Place three German infantry in Mexico as attackers against Mexican forces. Yeah. There is no penalty if they fail. Oh man. Mexico is pro U.S., but there's only one cav in there right now. I've all actually aligned the whole thing, so. That'll be a good fight. Um, Wait, no, yeah. The Poncho Villas are mad. Uh, four, four guys? Three. Oh, three. He's kind of <clears> my <throat> man. This is bad. No wonder Johnny's winning. <laughs> this is going to. 25% bonus for quality. Do we even have five turns left in the game? Uh, no. It's variable end. So there could be. Yeah, we could For be. For the sake of the way the rules are written. I don't think that would Okay, be Andrew, attack me. Because there's this turn. There's one more 17 turn and three 18 turns. Miss. Miss defense. Or do we just roll until something happens? One hit. One hit. Oh, pulled out the one. German controlled Mexico. Uh, we're going to have a little fight on our hands down here. So does that count against their movement for this turn? Um, Since that's resolved immediately, now now it's German turn. Do they get now it is German. So now I guess the question is: Okay, so you've got a German-controlled one, yes, Mexico that is USA not at war with the USA, but it just took the USA's territory. So what happens? Well, I mean, typically if you fight a combat, that's your turn, right? No, I mean, okay, so that's. That's that was a random event. Okay. Now Germany starts with Germany took an aligned Mexico, U.S. aligned Mexico. Uh huh. There wasn't a neutral Mexico. It was the U.S. aligned Mexico. Okay. So, <clears throat> well, where does that put? Are they Germans or are they Mexican rebels? Well, they're 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 German control. Well, they're you know there's no differentiation at this point. In the game. Okay. So um, you're saying, does that start the war? I don't think it should. Because otherwise, why would Andrew want that event? But then let's say there wasn't anybody in Texas, he could just declare war on me and come up there. Could. Um, but can I attack him? <coughs> I mean, in theory, I should be able to attack Mexican. 
Mexican forces, but I'm at war with Germany. Because basically we're, I've tried to slim this down with not a lot of control because that's what slows down World War II is it's all this complicated control and alignment yeah. stuff to, to balance out who was at war when. Mm. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, the simple way would just be to say, yes, the U.S. could attack them because they were already down there fighting rebels and, and stuff. Um, or no, they can't. That those are well, then taking can, over the Mexican you government. That, you can just write that simple one or two line rule into the random event mm -hmm. that says um, <clears throat> surviving German forces can be attacked by allied forces without uh, declaring war on Germany. It says there's no penalty if they fail, which meant you know, you're not at war with Germany. If they succeed, maybe U.S. income just increases. Maybe then we get to fully declare war. You mean if they're still neutral? What I mean, what do you think the U.S. would really do? You have what you want. They would be pissed. You're yeah, they'd be pissed. But what, so they've already been down there. <laughs> Fighting Mexican rebels and sending Mexican and supporting the Mexican government against bandits and rebels. So they're already having an interventionist stance. Yeah, I mean you're in you're in the backyard. I think Germany would be given an ultimatum: get out. But they're not German. I mean, probably some German advisors have slipped in there, but they're they're they're, they're just anti-U.S. Mexicans. Basically, the Germans have control of them. Because so the Americans ought to automatically just go in and clean it out. Right? Okay. So at this point, the Mexicans are like, Germany, help us. Well, Germany has a decision to make then. I mean, <clears throat> Germany is an active player with a... Well, you know, in the, in the, they should be able to lend lease to them because they have a minor port. The, the U.S. Yeah. won't plan green. The reason, one reason was was with the German influence. Okay, so... We're playing green. The other, the other option is you can have the German player fight the battle. When the German player wins, Mexico's neutral. Mexico reverts back to neutral with the remaining forces. But nine times, but a lot of times it's gonna be neutral anyway. Like I aligned it with my own alignment roles. It could have been neutral altogether. Yeah. Right. Sure. And um, and in that case, you would increase. The number so of they was aligned. How did, it, how did the random event happen? Because because um, um, people got turn. pissed off because I could understand if it was remain neutral. Or I don't see how you can do both, neutral or aligned. Well, I mean they're aligned. You know, basically you've got yeah. the Mexican government that's pro U.S. anyway, and they just said. Yeah, we're we're totally on board with you when this war comes. Like they just got to the point where I could control their forces. You know, I, I, or they 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 actually become part of the U.S. when they align. So, okay, make a decision. Let's move on. Uh, Visit this another day. I'd say revert them back to neutral for simplicity's sake. For this game, yes. And if they're already neutral, keep them neutral if they win and increase the forces there. <clears throat> Okay, so but the Germans took it. So now what? It's just a German ally, but it's just German? That'd be a simple I would have just given them where <clears throat> the Germans help them because, you know, the Mexicans were looking for the Germans. But so these are these are Mexicans. These are not German troops. These no. are German. Right. But when you align, you just become whatever you align to. Yeah. There is no, I'm no, controlling this. What I'm trying to this. say is <clears throat> I would have left it neutral and just brought German troops down there. I don't understand. I don't understand that either. They're just getting aid from the Germans. They're getting troops to help. That's why I'm saying if they, when the Germ German player beats the uh, the uh, existing American-backed force, it reverts back to neutral, right? <clears throat> I so think the Germans that should have that. Right. I think thing. the because Germans should have You don't have the, neutral. You don't have the these are complication of German involvement. They got help from the Germans to take out the Americans. These are anti-U.S. So Mexicans. Forget right. the German mark. But, but, but they're gonna, they're so anti-U.S. that they're going to align to Germany the minute these two countries are at war. Like, that's that's the deal. 
but with, so the German player still controls them, though. Yeah, the question is whether or not the U.S. can come in now or not. Are they at war with I, the I'm gonna, Here's what I'm going to say. War with the Germans? I'm going to say it increases U.S. income by die six. How's that? That'll get them closer to war. How far away are you? It's going to be, I'm at 34. Where you need to be, 50? 42. Okay. Okay. It's going to say it increases them by die six. All right. Okay. Got some influence rolls. Uh, hi. Hmm? All right, it goes up three. Scripted. There you go. What? Done? I think it should be a scripted number, like plus two, plus three, something like that. Has Portugal been aligned? Well, you could get a six just from them hitting Mexico. I guess. I guess. If they plus, hit Mexico, you should get a three. ten. Well, plus yeah. three. 1914, I don't think the Americans had the love for Mexico. So. <laughs> Did France align Portugal earlier? Yes. Okay. All right, here's it works. for <coughs> Brazil. Is that just one right? Nice. That's one. Chile. No. Who should I go for next? What time is it? Sweden. Yes. yes. Okay. You realize one of the random events that we have not done probably need the same scrutiny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're all going to need scrutiny. It's hard, guys. It's hard. I can't be. I, I, I worked hard my ass off just to get it to where it is. Right. We're not criticizing. I'm telling you. We're, that, we're that testing. sit around all day and make up random events. Yes. You know. Well, you can always send me work. Hey, Bob, I need you who, to do Who this? gave you the uh, uh, Ottoman battleship one? Come on. I threw you that bone. You got More full credit, too, when it came up. Yep. Okay. I'm sure I did a couple of them. I keep missing all this <clears throat> I probably, I No, you know what, Doug? Every time out. every time I've asked you, you've been like, look in Dropbox. Uh, I, I go look in Dropbox. And I put it in there. So okay. I'll just put it out to all my designers right now. We, we have random event. events. 1914, Interwar, um, World War II. World War II, anything. But, you know, you can send me ideas, but if you want to work on the actual project for World War II, that'd be good too. Okay, to clarify for escorts, if they're on escort duty, they can't take defense in the sea zone. Is that right? Huh? Like if I attack other ships in the sea zone, do they defend with them? No. No. Okay. They're 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 not in they're they're on running mission. around escorting. Well, if that's the case. For three months. And defend the transport. Yeah, they're just yeah. They're All just three not, of them. Transports in, are gone. They're not in a surface warfare group, like running uh, around. They are just following the convoys up down, not available for fighting. That was an interesting. But they can be. Yeah. All right, this guy's going to sink the transports, and the other two are going to convoy raid. Oh. See, he cared. All your transports just got sunk. Huh? Yeah. Did you plan it? That yeah, way? he planned it. All right, so I don't like those naval rules, so I'm just kind of so for this off. I get what plus two for the sub, and he gets plus one for TBD. Like no, nah. on escort is that right? I yeah, you get plus three because of your subs. Here, yeah, that's right. Plus three, sub. you got to have them in the land zone. So one of those subs rolled a three. Still, so yeah, what does he three. roll? Um, four or five. So does this guy get a shoot at the, against that sub? Yeah. Does, does he get a shoot against each sub or just one of them? I think he gets just one. Okay. So the other one. Well, I don't know. Is it each or one? Should I? I just put up you want me to put the update on data stick? Sure. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Can I pull it? Uh, yeah. hang on. Oh, one minute. Yeah. It's been trying to pull data off of it. So I'm not Are you gonna go roll for your guys? If Dad has his what guys? Stuff. You're, you're oh, oh, okay. Who is? I can give it to you later. Or you can give me an email address. I lost my transport for you. No, because you have a convoy radio. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know where he's at. I don't know what I transferred to people either. Okay, uh, my other sub convoy raid. So that's a five. In here. Six, that missed. And this guy. Seven. So three bucks, and then you get to shoot at one of my subs over here, or both of them. I don't know yet. Well, we don't get the plus one escort until we have escort. 
strategy. So does he get to shoot one sub or? No, he gets to shoot back. He just doesn't get that one point. So he gets to shoot back at both of them? I don't know. I'm reading that. <clears throat> Automatically, they're making a defense roll against submarines in the area there at half value. The Jetport gets a single shot. So, one roll. Yes. I think that should be at full value. That makes sense. Does that make sense? Do you think you agree with that? Why would you go half value? If they only get one shot, I'd say full value. But if they get a shoot at every single sub, I'd say half value. Okay. <clears throat> You ever seen those movies where the destroyers are out there escorting things and all of a sudden they can spot a sub and the little whoop, 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 like whoop. that's how long it takes to pull off an escort duty and go out of sub. Yeah, but that's going up that to one quick. sub. Because you could have in the second sub come around the other way. Well, there's more than Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, non -combat. And the subs of World War One are Weren't like they are in World War Two. No. no. They can One, two, dive just long enough to make three. Their I don't. I don't know how much air they had, but not much because they they couldn't run. You know, my, you know might be the fix power. for this, and that's not just because I'm the British. You see the red chip. But the British had destroyers, not just torpedo boats, and it might be the reason that they can defend. Their, Convoys. We just couldn't put destroyers in the game. Yeah, when we did the research on it, British had a lot of destroyers. Most other people had yeah. torpedo boat destroyers. I mean, the Americans had some destroyers as well. Well, maybe we need Not to give destroyers. Britain a, a, a bump in the starting on the escort hydrophone. Yeah, you do that. Let's double them. Well, that way they can at least help yeah. um, well, let's secure some of their convoy the lines. Let's charges and hydrophones thing. I we'll have to do some research on that to see they, what it is. That'll just for their destroyers because. Yeah. I'll give them all. I get. You guys are giving so much work to do. Well, on that, you can give that an assignment to someone to say research World War One destroyers of the British Navy. I probably, I probably have something in there on that. Yeah. Well. All right, so now we're starting the next turn. We did the Mexican. Germany just finished its move. Germany has finished its move. Okay. Yeah, uh, I just need to place me in some time. Uh, next okay. person is Britain. And France will be coming along. Here. How many ships I have over there I need to move? One, two. No, one. The two already. There. I think I forgot to place those last time. <laughs> it's two ships. Well, so there's these. Yeah, and then you those are on place units, so I've only got one to, one to move. This guy goes down there. So he's four. Can we throw our shit? I got no, I really want to build a naval base, but it's going to take so long it won't be done. Eleven. Time. Yes. 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 I started it earlier. Yeah. But, you know, so now my hope is I have a more ships than the Brits or something. How much does it take? Oh, it takes five. And I've got all the Dang. subs, and all he has is that major fleet, yeah. and then knock out the rest of those dreads, I can build ships with no problem. Because he's not breaking through that line. No. That one he might break through with constant push is Belgium, mm -hmm. but I'm keeping, I'm reinforcing as fast as I can. Your line is probably strong enough now. You could pull out all of your Austrians if you wanted to. And um, move on to, yeah. to kill some neutrals. And I don't... Well, all I, these guys in I made a little progress against Serbia. One okay. artillery hit, and I'm I'm building artillery now just to go in okay. over the hill. So I might have enough to get in there. Most of what's in Russia, I'm going to be pushing towards this line. And she's okay. Okay. I'm using rebel to get out there really fast. So the next turn, I'll be able to get these two artillery in and a couple of infantry in. Yeah, that works. So you could probably pull everything out if you yep. wanted. Yeah, because when these guys go in, I'll need someone to defend that territory I from so. the attack. Yeah. 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 That's not a mountain border because it's not a complete border all the way to the sea. 
So this is a regular attack okay. across here. I would not suffer an attack or penalty on mountains. Mm. So if I get enough force there, I can probably push him easily. That's why that's why I'm building the tanks there is for a push. This next turn I'm gonna build a ton of artillery. Where is that? Where is that line go? Well, it goes all the way down there. You can't get across there. No. no see. Are you, these guys are in here or in here? No, yeah, they're in there with everybody else. Right. Okay. Yeah. All the German units are in the same zone. Well, I, I I think that would be. We'd have to have a map clarification there. Where? I think the intent is that you have to cross the mountains. Yeah. Into Italy. Got to go over the Alps. Well, either way. Like, like James Bond skiing down to him. <laughs> ski trips. <clears throat> yeah. Coming. Yeah, we have been, been some more to war. Yeah. So far. Any factory orders? Yeah, I don't know. I, I got the zero. <laughs> I already moved that one for you. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Where's this little, poor little guy? Go back. at 39 now. Italian fighter. Did you just start the Italian fighter? Oh, I, I remember about Italian. finishing that guy. Um, I'm moving him to there. And he'll show up next turn. Um, okay. Are you done? Are you done? Done. Done with what? I wasn't sure if you're done with the Brits or not. No, I'm just I just bought. I didn't realize it was coming up that quick. One, two. I'm running low on Whose turn is it, Brian? Britain, but Britain. someone else can um, someone can buy whoever's after me. I'm I'm bought. I'm ready. Yeah, those victory points are going to be determined who wins by alliance. One. Yeah, one, I'm working on it. One. What do we got? Two turns left? <laughs> if I roll well, we can get one more on, on diplomacy this turn. And then Priest is going to be the second one. You know, you've already got one, I think, on one of them. Three, four. Don't you have one point against Greece? Against Greece? Or four Greece, I should say. I thought it was on the menu. You have one for these. So I'll start rolling for them, but I don't get the victory point for having it. It has to be you. Oh, that's so. right. Now I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I can hold the defense, any defense line you want. Perfect. Perfect. Should we research? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to start rolling. Here. That's part of Europe, so you get like four rail That's how I've been getting there rolling over there. So fast. Got it. I too. I don't tell her in the German line. The way that Austria is laid out, though, I don't really nope. need a rail movement. I'm already yeah. sort of there. Well, hey, because I can see, I can cross this border here. If you get Serbia, though, you can probably rail move some of these guys. Oh, uh, down to Serbia. To prepare for yeah, yeah. Greece. Yeah. Because you don't have to have Corinth. Yeah. You just I have do. to have Athens. No, I have to have. Oh, you have to have Corinth, mm -hmm. too? Oh. <coughs> All right. Is it one point for each, though? That's a good question. Well, I'm going to put. So one point for each? That's not actually a bad attack. With the size of army they have. One. It doesn't have for two. Three. Is that where we saw it? Yeah. I guess more. Maybe I was thinking Cyprus. Okay. So all we get is that. I ain't going to get there. Sam Kinney asks, how big is the board? Six. 
48 by 96, four foot by eight foot. <clears throat> Chips. Yeah. What is it? The giant world in flames map. The, uh, okay. It's all world of flames is a really great system. Hmm. How are we coming? Uh, they're selling them for like forty bucks or something. Like you can't make it for that. The map, big world of flames, the vinyl map. Yeah. Huh. Let's see it. I thought I thought it was. Forty. Mm -hmm. Are you still working on Britain? Good. Yeah, I just finished. Oh, you did? Okay. So no combat? What about nope. um, artillery attrition? I did that. Okay. Missed. Right. I moved everything up, built some cav. <laughs> oh, I didn't do my artillery here. Into the turkey line. Yeah. Of course. All right. Two rolls in it. What are you doing, uh, Mike? I am rolling uh, for diplomacy. I've got one for uh, Bulgaria. Hello. Big roll, big roll. Oh, oh, it was almost a six. One for Greece. Almost doesn't really count. No. Two fails. Fail. Fail. See if we can get a really big map pan here for a minute to give everyone the. This is the big map. For those of you who were asking uh, Sam about how big the map is, four foot by eight it's foot. It's giant. I mean, you could lay down on it and take a nap if you wanted to. I wouldn't advise it, but. Uh, Got a. Doug, six will you sell the big map? Into Serbia. Will you, will you have a big map available? Not of 1914. Not of 1914? Never released it yet. Yeah. No, I mean, like, when it comes, can people expect to be able to buy this on vinyl in a yeah. big, giant oh, yeah. map? It'd be three foot by six and a four by eight. Doug Friend, president of Survival <laughs> Board Gaming, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then there you, maybe a, a boxed version that would be a little smaller. Three foot by six. Three foot, three foot by six, okay. But we buy the box and then buy the four by eight vinyl. Right. So you're saying you should basically buy them all, is what you're saying? Absolutely. Five by ten. The five by ten, the the garage, the wood painted on your garage do. floor. I have a five by ten, but. You know, reaching across makes it a little tough. I can do it. It, it, it. You do have to walk around the stable to get to the northerly. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not going to be able to get up here from, from where I'm sitting. Another six inches on the other side, you could still reach into the middle. So I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> I don't think I can go into western Ukraine. You can go. You can basically take all of Ukraine. but Even though Germany all, once held that. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, See, I, don't, I, I think would, Germany might be able to keep all the stuff that they kept, but then why are there Ukrainians there? Well, this, that was the issue that we were having with the... Yeah, down in <laughs> Transcaucasia. Yeah. So these Ukrainians ought to not exist. The, the, the funny part is when you read about the Russian Civil War, it's like the, the Germans weren't like... Everyone was at peace, but the Russians were still attacking the Ukrainians and the Germans were still down there fighting. And, you know, I mean, it was it was a little bit... More confusing than, than yeah. This that might, you that guys, might you guys, you guys aware of the Pripyat marshes when you're playing at the yeah. boundary? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we never really had to cross those. Okay. Very aware of the <clears throat> marshes. Thank you. Very much. Okay. Um. Anyways. Yeah, right. it just needs real clear definition. Excuse me. And then. Just to watch your thing. Yeah, but. I didn't get anything, so I I'm moved everything down, and I'll, I'll just go in next turn. I think what I'm going to do is going to make a real simple I consolidated Brest Latar version, which is like, okay, Germany gets this. These are independent. Where's the? Zero. So you're going to have to do something like I've done on the map, Doug, which is break out what's Finland, break out what's, you know, What's your technology chart? But it's already, the with? lines are already there. I don't know right what you're there. saying. Well, 
they're there, but no, like if so, oh. if I said Ukraine, no one would know what territories comprise the Ukraine. Oh yeah. Like you right. see where I've got Ukraine there, and I've got Finland. Actually, no one knows that that's Finland <laughs> except for us because we're nerdy enough to know. We can do like we do level thirty nine. We're remember the. It's gonna give you money. How much does it give you? Yeah, I would say either one or two d six. I would say that it's. Yeah, I started going for that one. The big one I'm trying to get around is. It's just gonna have maybe a different shade and some additional information on it for people to understand. Um. So, I want to roll defense for Kiev. All right, we're going to be ignoring yes. people. Artillery, I missed. Is, uh, where are we at? Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, infantry. Our worldwide oh, do your artillery first. All right. On. Well, artillery. Okay, yes. we both missed. Okay, and so I got infantry so supported. You're asking about is the, the global nature the of the game. Um, we have right, had... Not a lot of action in the Pacific, although there are, uh, there there is an ability for an independent Japanese player to change that. We don't have that because we had two guys that couldn't come. Uh, we were going to have an independent Italy and Japan. Um, so there could be action from an independent Japanese player. Could be could be working on China. Could be anti-Western down here. Could be I've even seen them take Australia and some of the playtests. Um, we've had, we've had, uh, uh, revolts, uh, uh, random events that, that bring revolts into India. We've seen that today. We've seen, uh, Afghanistan get cleared out. We've seen, um, potential stuff happen down there. Um, Africa's been, gets hot down here in uh, the Southern por portion. Um, like, uh, We've got uh around right where you have the um, circle. I haven't seen the dervish cavalry move at all, but we've seen the action up in here. And uh we've even got uh um some Mexican revolution happening over here. We had the the Mexicans get some German support and go German. We've got a diplomatic influence table, which is allows almost any country to get sucked into the war. So we really are trying to make this a global game. We really are trying to um bring it uh, as a worldwide theater, in part because we wanted to transition to global into global interwar, which you'll see later today, and we want it to translate into global thirty nine. It's an ambitious it's an ambitious project. There's a lot of details. There's a lot in making it work and make it simple. Um, in any case, uh, if you're a history buff and you uh, want it to be historical, the Western Front has bogged down outrageously, and it does not pay to attack. So there you go. Good commentary. Yeah. Good job, Will. Just trying to keep the fan base happy. We got four folks from our. We got the general. We got the hilltop pillbox. That hurt. What's up, Canada? Yep. Um. And a shout out to all our Canadian friends up there. I don't see Joey in there, but uh, He's probably on pain meds right now. Some of the uh, hand grenades here, Sam. I wouldn't blame him. Yeah. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Try and monitor. Since uh, since the general's listening, away, this yeah. is Mike. Just want to say uh, I looked up your uh, videos for um, how to win at Global Forty when I was playing with some guys back home. Appreciate all the work you did on that. Help me kick their butts. Awesome. That's cuss words around. Here. I know, we don't talk about still. computer products <laughs> around here because you know Global uh, Forty doesn't is have. Media. Militia and torpedo boat destroyers oh, and Turkish expansions and coastal battleships and British river monitors. Only Global 36 has, soon. has that. No, not even thoughts all here. Coming soon here. Not on even coming table. soon. You could buy it on the day. Version three. Version three, and then and then the, it'll get updated continuously. It's the most expanded and well supported game of its genre ever. And I'm not even bragging because I wrote it. <laughs> I'm just saying, 26 expansions, 30 plus 3D printed pieces, unlimited options, chemical weapons. This was some bombs. Right. Let's go, man. 
turn is it? Charging by the pound. Okay, whose turn is it? That's another question. The Ottomans just went. Looks like it's the French turn. We're always quite on will on those. Well, nobody ever tells them. Nobody is ever like, the, uh, I'm done with my turn now. Yeah. Nobody uh, ever says Austrian that. Russians are done. So wait, did, did the Russians finish? So I, sorry, I got to do the Ottomans. Now. All right. See. I didn't. I didn't know the Russians were done. They are. Okay. All right. There's not a whole lot to do here, really. It's just. Why don't you come in? Why don't yeah, you write right. me? Because I'm just going to be doing the French as we go. That's so. fine. Go ahead. I don't see any reason. Mm -hmm. French deliver. Oh, that gets delivered on the American terms. All right. Um, you got just any more of those escort markets done? There's a pile of them somewhere. Yeah. There we go. Stuff, okay? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm mostly like, stuff tucked everywhere, man. But it's fun. I wanted to find five. <laughs> Just get one of buying fives. I don't know. Like, it's non the Don Republic is not Russian. Well, I mean, that's an independent. No, not here. Either here or here. Uh, I think it's I think British. The, I, I think you can yeah. attack that. I think this one is my... Uh, this is my victory condition, right? Let me take a look. The only thing that's missing is you can sub. Like, I, I substitute an off-color tiger. Transcaucasia. Yes. And what about North Caucasia? No. So this one would be a no. It's not one of my victory conditions, but this would be a yes. So whatever, I'll roll some dice. So they got to go in at ones, supported by the ships. Oh, yeah, Andrew. Four hits from artillery. Too much from artillery. I think you can... I mean, I mean, if you read the history, the Ottomans were pushing in there pretty heavily. Um yeah, until the uh, United Nations showed up in <laughs> Turkey, apparently, and shut that plan down. League of Nations. League of Nations, yeah, there you go. League of Nations. All right, uh, so, dread not. No. Free dread. No. This is where my guys die. Need ones. No. You want to roll for and, Doug's uh, too? That whole um, area of Stavagers is fortified. So they're you, both can, you just go for fortification. No, that's fine. Fortification. Sure. Still today. Um, uh, Andrew, yes? four, four hits on uh, attrition. Ouch. Which territory? Lorraine? Uh, uh, Lorraine. There was a really good movie. I don't know if you've seen it. The same kid who played, uh, who was in Harry Potter, the redheaded kid. Starting a little bit down. They, they, they made a movie. Good, that's a movie about a oh, British I fighter. Yeah. Um, and a German <laughs> yeah. bomber that go down. I forgot my. Uh, uh, it's great. Spending too much on tech. Yeah. I got to get that tech. I'm one away from counter battery fire. Oh, good. Yeah, but I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey. Was, Ottomans, really one good. point for Greece. Yeah, it was a first point yeah, for Greece? Uh, probably. Ottomans? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're just going to keep moving with the Italian. So, one more hit from the Italian artillery on your side. Um, Lorraine. Factors are ready. You get the Russian forces on the Austrian Italian border, but anything that's being built in Germany is going to France now. Okay. My way. Have you seen my way? About the Asians that end up in. Um, I'm going to do more stuff like this thing. Start out in Korea, Japan. Really good. It's, uh, it's bloody. I like that. <clears throat> that. That movie came out this last year, that Ridge. Okay. What are we doing here? Americans. Oh, yeah. Axel Ridge. Axel Ridge. Yeah. I've got that one as well. It's done really mm. well. 
my way. I love that movie. Yeah, the Admiral's not available on Netflix. I think I've got that already. So. Mike's, Mike bought a couple of movies. Of course, he's had them for like a year. So uh, you might as well just buy them for me. I'll send them back. I meant to put them in my bag. I don't even know what they are. I probably rebought them thinking, like, yeah, where, my way. where are those movies at? <laughs> my way's out there. I sent my way back to you. You should have that. I have my way. Okay. I know that. For I just sure. don't know the other ones. I have, I have Yamato. You do? What's the one where the guy... I have Yamato. I think he's Romanian. And sent, like, oh, you know, I probably sent that one back to you. He's Romanian, and he ends up digging the big ditch for the, for the, for the Romanians in defense against the Soviets, and then he ends up... Just, he ends up in the German army, but he's, you know, he obviously doesn't want to fight for him. It, it's just, it, it's his whole experience through, and he survives World War II, and, you know, to go home. And, That's kind of like how my way yeah. is. You know. mm -hmm. That was a good movie. There were, uh, off, there were Koreans that got captured by the Japanese and then got recaptured by the Russians. My way, got my recaptured. Way. It's my way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he ends up on the fields in France during D Day. <laughs> Good movie. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Um, okay. Uh, I've done everything that I can do for America, France, and Italy. I just Bergen, no combat. I've made a few like rolls. Um, America's at thirty nine and we're I think we're back to Germany if everyone's gone. Yeah. Random event. Random event. That one, right? Mm-hmm. We have got the real random events. Who's rolling? We are in 1918 or 1917 winter. Mm, what was the last event? We're in winter. I think it's winter 17. Winter 17. Does anybody have that timeline? Does it feel cool in here? Yeah. I'm okay, but I'm also wearing a wool sweater. I'm going to say it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we got a couple of things. Uh, Greece, three free rolls for Britain in summer 17. And Siam, three free rolls for Japan. Like <laughs> Concrete. Stronger mm -hmm. on defense. Mm -hmm. U.S. got three free rolls for Brazil. Oh, uh, okay. huh? Pick up three six-sided dice and roll them. You realize it's 11 o'clock, my friend, right? China. Yeah, I've got like what? Nothing. 20, 30 minutes left? China's now influenceable Thank in you. summer of 17. So... As the Russians, I should have gone for wartime economy early on. Um, yeah, that would have helped. So what's the uh, random event? Uh, so Doug, you, we're we, we forgot to do, um, you get three free influence rolls in Greece. He did it, he failed. And, and three free rolls for Britain. Well, I didn't know I was doing for an influence. That makes a difference. How, how does that make a difference? <laughs> yeah. Siam, a little bit more open. So Siam, so. three free <laughs> rolls for Japan. Influence. He'd lay him down like some other people. What are we trying to influence? I am. No. Oh. I am. Was that um, your own? Okay. No. That's kind of a yeah, That's the summer. Now we're uh, fall, winter 17. Please, someone roll a die 12. Six. Six. Is that another one you just Look placed? Lawrence of Arabia. Place two British troops in Hejaz. Yeah, I'm giving oh, you. Oh, I like that one. I'm giving you two free troops because I wanted to. Thanks. Lawrence of I'm Arabia. Now, 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 the next turn, everyone, do your thing. That guy had it, had it rough. All right. Germany's rolling for influence on Brazil. Where's he going? Here we go for tag. <coughs> Counter. I may as well just go. You're okay. talking about here? Yeah. <laughs> what about that little neutral guy? Neutral guy, go away. Yes. All right. Counter battery fire. Is that good? And you go up one on your tracking. Oh, is it worth one? Fourth one. I like it work on Germany got counter battery fire. Bravo. Ooh, that's Bravo. bad. Your defense in depth. Missed. Oh, it was, it was a 10. Um, wartime economy. Um, oh, Doug. Ottomans are down one. Yeah. Wait, what? Why did I lose one for that? But I knew I was neutral. Yeah, it starts with an OE roundel. I guess it was neutral. Yeah, it was neutral. 
Yeah. Okay. So, no. so we shouldn't have this Ottoman Rondell in there. Shouldn't say Ottoman Rondell. Probably gaining the whole thing. No. I will if I have to. Mm -hmm. Did you put the Brits up one? Back? Yep. All right. Uh, All right. You want to roll for these uh, whites? Yeah. So two artillery. Wait, nothing. Uh, one artillery. Uh, like nothing. Yeah. Two I infantry. Can, I can look at the map. Got one. You got magic infantry? Oh, they're supported, huh? It was the three when I moved. Oh, yeah, yeah, three. Here. But you attack at a two, right? Yeah, but they're supported. Supported, three, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, defending, nothing. All right, I'm going to assume which one? Probably yeah, yeah, again. yeah. And then attack again. Uh huh. Nothing. Artillery. Infantry. Nothing. Nothing. All right, last one. Artillery, nothing. Infantry. Nothing. This counter battery is going to be a problem. One hit. Golly. What do counter battery fire do? Does right. it let you shoot back at, at my artillery? Yeah. But when you do attrition, I do attrition too. So I, I get to do attrition too. Nice. Turn. Oh. If you shoot. All right. Non combat movement. But do you do you hit the infantry or do you hit his artillery? Yeah. Well, it should be against the artillery. It's counter battery. Five. Four. Five. Thanks for artillery spotting range. I don't know about on the opposing side to respond to an additional attack by firing their artillery in an additional attack. Okay. Wow, but it should be against artillery, right? Well, yes. that's gonna that's gonna get real painful real fast. Don't you think? I hope so. Well, that's what counter battery fire did. That's true. But it shouldn't be super effective. Well, it's no, only it should attacking be. it too. But so like, I don't want to fire all my artillery. So it gets even more stagnated. Oh, I don't want to shoot. I'm going to hide in the trees. What? Well, <laughs> kind of what happened. Yeah. I mean, it's counter battery, simple math. Yeah, right. But, but should it hit their artillery? Should it hit the opposing side's artillery? Well, that's what you're firing at. You're doing, yeah. you're doing a reverse trajectory using math. That's all you're doing. Okay, but that aside. Yes, it should hit artillery. It should hit artillery. Uh -huh. Should it be. Full strength. I mean, should it be like a full attrition? So right, right now, we're, I fire. I fire all my. No, because you're, it gonna, one. you're gonna pull it back into its. As soon as you fire, you now that counter battery exists. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna pull it back into a hardened position, where so the troops are gonna take cover while the counter battery is coming in. So call it one. So, in game terms, what happens? Counter battery fire at a one. One. At the artillery. Yes. Yes. Okay. So counter battery fire artillery, at artillery, 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 artillery at a one. Artillery. Hits on a one, always, but must take, but take, but target Attrition. selection for Italy. artillery. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, well, must take artillery as casualties. Yes. Yeah. But opponent takes artillery as casualties. Okay. Well, uh, Hertz asking what causes uh, India to mobilize another part of Britain. <clears throat> India starts the war mobilized on the British side. I hope that holds. Okay, let's take a look at this. And we go Sharpie, Sharpie on the board. Me. Oh my God, the British looking. <laughs> McMurtry's right got to love that. I'll take the map and make the uh, comments to our artists, and we'll fix hey, Doug, it. Why do you have one. tinier roundels? That's uh, a version of the Canadian uh, slash UK rondel. It's World War One. The World War One. There's variants. There's so many variants of uh, the British Rondel. We just need to figure out which one we're going to use. I don't like the one with the yellow outer circle because it's really World War Two. I mean, it came out in World War One. It wasn't utilized as much. No, in the bank. Let's put an infantry mix yeah. there. Oh, right. Please mm. do. All right, Germany is done. Those are the small circle ones. I don't like this. I don't like those tiny dots, round bells. Gotta say, the, the tiny ones. You worry about the rules. Let me worry about the art. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll figure out All what right. people are like. I mean, some uh, people use the Union Jack. Jeremy paid to put the damage of your movement to dread. Nine bucks. Nine bucks See? on a dread. Yep. Over here in India, it still shows the yellow. You know, the World War Two one. Yeah, it does. Well, that uh, we didn't have them change them. Yeah, that's true. 
But uh, we'll have to decide, do we want the Union Jack? Do we want... I don't like the Union, Union Jack, but... I don't... It, it makes sense yeah. because it's a commonwealth and we don't have individual nations yeah. like we do World War II. Sure. So it's, it does make sense. What does everyone else like? Do you want for World War One? Should we have the Union Jack? Should we no. have the small one, or should we have the World War Two British Rondo with the yellow band, which I don't like as well for the World War One? No. I, I mean, I like these. Well, there's the small. Two. We've got two. Yeah, the small one actually. Hang on. Let's see what other people are yeah. saying. Yeah. Go for counterbatter first. Okay. Let's see what's going on over here with uh, the Germans. What do you want to do at the moment? I'm just looking to see what you got over there. Who's uh? Who's oh, you got a huge bunch of stuff over there. You doing the Brits? I'm working on my turn. I don't know the Brits are doing anything. Wait, wait, wait. Did you guys skip my turn? No, I just start working on it. Does Germany go? Germany's done. Yeah. Oh, it's Brits then. I have not As far as I know. And Germany's done, right? Yeah. 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 i place units. Um, um, what I got? Three ships. The the move coming over. in from the north there. Twelve. Yeah, three ships. And oh, we didn't resolve that battle. That's what we didn't do. And can I attack an escort? No. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. You can attack an escort? Yeah. All right. Well, we have four convoy ready. Yeah, I right can't here. defend because I'm on escort duty. You can, well, not when you're convoy ready, but you uh, can well, just choose to come in and attack. I have four convoy ready. But it'll be a right standard right. fight. So you do this. I can roll it. All right, let me buy. One, so that's five, plus three is eight. Seven dollars lost for Britain so far. I rolled you a one. You're welcome. I got three more dollars. Seven is five. So ten dollars so more lost. Two more rolls. Three. Nothing for that. So that's nine. Um, five. Good old dollars lost from Britain. You lost fifteen just in one fight. Yeah, because I'm at that zone. Where the all these connect, so I can write up to to well, oh, oh, you know what? Well, that's probably not accurate. Um, so which would it be? It would be the, it would be these two lines. I combine those two lines for that. Okay, so, so it's up to ten. Ten, ten yeah. max. Ten. Okay, what about the defense, defense value there? Destroyers to shoot defense at what value? Full value? Why didn't you Why didn't you put that on air air patrol then? Uh, four. Let's roll. 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 Let's I mean, that's your convoy point where you should have most of your stuff concentrated. Yeah, put your aircraft on. Put your cap. aircraft out here, Doug, on cap. Bring that's stuff on off this five-point line. You need to take active measures. I had a guy on escort duty. Yeah. I mean, do I have to like start putting four on escort duty? Well, so, so, so just like thirty-six. The convergence of these lines is where you've got your high traffic zone. So you should have your aircraft out here patrolling. You should have your concentration here because you can only lose five of these. You know, five still a lot. Five still a lot, but um, we got to make it hurt. Um, so pretty soon, Doug, I've got uh, I've got like five escorts coming online for you. As soon as the U.S. comes in the war, we're gonna get jiggy with it. Although this Mexican thing is starting to weigh on me. <clears throat> All right. I'm moving on. Or is that Frank's, Frank's turn? No. It is. It's my turn. It, he's finishing oh. England, and then I got to go okay. Austria, and then it's Russia's turn, and then it's the Ottomans' turn, and then it's French. Right? No. You're after, you're after Austria. Then Russia's after the Ottomans. I'm going to go ahead and do, we're going to do an attack here against the Ottomans.
Did you move my ships up, Mike, over there? No, I didn't touch them. Yeah, move them up. So I pay for those this turn, oh, really? and they move up. <clears throat> I get to place them at the end of my turn. Yes, you do. Um, so let's put... Right. <clears throat> the you want to do this battle. Do you have any um, aircraft? Though? Any fighters? They're in Picardia over there. I help you. Well, it's only going to be one round. I just want to right here. Okay. Too far away. And this guy can. Can he go one, two into yeah. it? Well, he can just come across here. Oh, I didn't even see that. So this one can too. One, two. Okay. So I got <clears throat> one, two, three. I got ten of those. We got you got one gun seven, and one artillery. All right, gun. It'll be at a three. <clears throat> I've got uh, four guns. Three, four, four five, six, seven. Nothing. I got seven cab. At a two. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Six, seven against four. You want to roll the Germans? Uh, sure. What's it on? Just roll. Oh, you Stop can roll. roll. Okay. Two hits. Two hits. Where are we taking? Four infantry down there. One infantry orders. Okay. Just orders. One, One hit. Stop it. No? I lost it too. There's the two. There. there you go. Two hit back. You can pay for it. Okay, okay, well, that goes a victory point. Yeah. Don't want a victory point. One, one on one. Gotta get these all aligned. And. Yeah. Now that the Italians are in it, I can. That's, that's it. Start marching through there. Yeah. If you just figure if that you out. Could take one of the military, <clears> throat> throat> yeah. I can start building again. Yeah. Okay. Right. Whose turn? It's going to take you three turns to get there. All I got to do is. You done? Yep. Right. I'm just going to place. Yeah. Austrians get one roll <clears throat> for Bulgaria. Oh, come on. Bless it. No. We're going in. Yeah. Similar to the Serbs. All right. So I've got five, six, seven, eight six, artillery seven. at a three. Oh, yeah. I'm going with these guys too. 
Might as well. Make it work. Can I get... No, I can't safely pull those guys off. Yeah, yeah there's too many transports. Okay. Two hits right away. That's a good start. So I guess they'll lose infantry. Mm -hmm. okay. And I've got, got the last one. Okay. That uh, was sweet. Well, and then they get to return fire in return. So that'll only happen for another turn or two, Doug. All right. Are you, are you researching the technologies you need to feed him? I was. I was doing a few shit. I got tanks. I got tanks. Two, three, four. Um, Uber. So it's eleven twenty-one. Here's your flag. Thank you. I want to finish the round. <clears throat> see where we stand. Sure. It's a good time for that. Uh, bump me up one income. We got now six. And Fourteen. <clears throat> oh, geez. I know up too. Well, I mean, if we want to extrapolate the end of the game instead of actually playing at the end of the game, I'm going to get at least one or the other. I think it's safe to say I'd eventually roll for that and invade that. Yeah. So I would give Austria all the points. Yeah. You're actually not standing up for the Austrian army. There's no way. Not now that I've built all the yeah. artillery. <clears throat> okay. What you want to do? Tack it into there with one. One hit. Okay. Counter battery. Two for one. Oh, one there hit. There goes one of my, my artillery. All right. Uh, coming in the next zone with uh, like three, four, five. I've got 10 artillery left in. All right. Uh, start off with one, two, three hits. And I've got three. Three more dice. Four hits. Four hits, maybe. Uh huh. Okay. You're coming back at me looking for ones okay. and potential kill artillery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Half of them. So if you fire one artillery into a zone with a hundred artillery in it, do all hundred of them get to fire back at you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's a good question. Is it a one for one? Is it a? Well, the, the other way to resolve that is you, you take away. All right. Cool. You changed the definition. I was of just it wondering to, how they got. Paid. I think your yeah. original intent, which was yeah, fire and attrition, yeah, I guess it back. was just yeah, yeah, after standard rules. rules. Yeah, there's no money exchange. Yeah, I think that might be the easier way to do it. Yeah, I've never seen anybody pay. Which is okay. Yeah. That's that would speak more to like uh, learning coordination with your aircraft spotters, right? Yeah. Move those guys into there. Okay, I'm doing an attack on uh, <clears throat> double Shamar with two infantry. Nothing. Ottomans defend. French forces cross the desert with their camels. Nope. Round two. Nope. nope. Round three. Hit. Hit. Okay. One French is dead, and the French claim the racist town of Japanese Empire. Oh, can't afford to lose much more money. Uh, but only oh, has me. Okay. So where's my point? Twenty seven, twenty three, twenty five. Okay. Got um the French. Um, I'm going to make a dirigible attack on your um, submarines. So three. The number of forces. Nothing. Um, <clears throat> it is. Yeah. And, 
that's not just, you got to look at the bullet box too and you know oh crap. i know that's crazy um and is there anything else i want to do in this turn so it's stagnated uh, no one can move i almost wonder if we need to have the uh attrition rolls at full strength that that would be an interesting thing to do um if you could do attrition rolls at full strength it was by artillery then <clears throat> Or that, yeah, or minus one. Make it threes. I'm just looking for a way to yeah. reduce artillery, it. take out artillery. Well, well that's, that's, that's counter the battery fire, but I mean, even then, 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 then you start buying artillery and well, not infantry and just keep taking shots down and they can't take out yeah. artillery. Yeah. No well, one's well, buy infantry. Well, one of the things is that, um, you know, in the, in the real war and some of the games I've seen, they have mandatory offensives where you have to attack. And it creates this back and forth. Mm -hmm. You know, hundreds of thousands of people are getting killed in these attacks. So, okay, that uh, all right. You almost do need. You could script that in. Those could be script <clears throat> ideas. Um, you know, the politicians are getting antsy. Yeah, they must go on the offensive this turn. Yeah. yeah, it could also create it where like you just got whacked. Yeah. You know, like without against your better judgment, you got whacked, or you have to make so many offensives problem, each year. The problem I see is, you know, Germany technically it only has two fronts over here on the eastern front. Oh, I'm sorry, on the western front, two areas that you can get in, <clears> and we're bogged down. You know, I'm putting here here, so he's only having to defend two areas. So should you? Because you're shielded by the neutrals over here. Which is such a, a penalty to even get in there. Wait. And then the Russians are so weak, he just has field day over here. All he has to do is keep that's, defending. That's what happened. But our but what I'm saying is it becomes makes Germany very powerful because all he has to do is push east because the Russians are no match for him. We can't hardly do anything with the Austrians and the Ottomans because fighting in the uh, the mountain areas. Mm -hmm. The mountains do slow it down considerably. <clears throat> making the attack at one or in limiting it to one round really just well you're doing a double mm -hmm. whammy there you're limiting mm -hmm. one round and like me, me going in there i got the i, I had good <clears throat> first second round i probably would have hit them a little harder because they had more cab going in but uh, so it yeah it, it does make it, it is consistent with world war one the way we have it now i mean with world war two the way we have it now well but is it game playable no okay so um it's uh who's turn ottomans yeah i mean we seem to be stagnated on all fronts yeah because people are not wanting to attack i mean that was the thing is in world war in world war one they attacked even when they were gonna just die like the attack mentality yeah, was pretty huge how bad it was but they just decided they could <clears throat> that was the whole French trying. doctrine. Maybe, maybe when maybe attack, when an area attack, gets so attack. many units, you have to attack. That would be strong. That way you can't keep just. Is, is well, there the uh, double the, the maybe, double the trench one of the requirement? Is in there. If you get to twelve, okay. mandatory attack, one round. So are we done with one? Yeah. With what? This way, are we done with this? I mean, that way. Well, let's see if America would have joined this turn. Be, 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 yeah. Be bigger, that would they have. Uh, That's an easy way to resolve it. Are we going to extrapolate any of the? They would have done it. Yeah. Uh, it also keeps okay, people from overbuilding. <clears throat> so let's extrapolate the um, build to eleven and stop. Let's go somewhere else. If we're going to end mm -hmm. this now, then let's extrapolate okay. what probably would have happened. Okay. America would have joined this turn. You can see that um, not only do they have a lot of transports, but they've got they got to deal with Mexico. So that's going to take them a while. They've got to build and they've got to get over there. Hey, Jack. They've got a ton of uh, TBDs coming online and transports. And there's how many turns left in the game? Finishing up four. World War One. So there's yes. four before we start variable end die roll. So I mean, just like in the real world, the Americans are gonna go one, two, three. It's gonna take them two turns to land a significant force. They don't have they haven't developed enough technology yet to have tanks and aircraft and all that stuff. They're working on it. They just so have men. They've got men, so they're gonna shore up the defensive position and let the French start. They're gonna start pumping and they can start lend leasing. So they're going to start pumping money into the economies of France and Britain. 
Okay. <clears throat> so we can extrapolate that Austria would have taken Greece and Bulgaria by the end of the war. Okay. Yeah. They, do you want to look at you want to you want everyone calculate <clears throat> speculate on out your victory conditions? Yeah. Sure. Okay. So let's go Germany first. Uh, Oh, maximum of five available points. Buffer and client states for one victory objective for each of the following: okay. Belgium, Warsaw, both Western Poland and Dolaske. Mm -hmm. It says Lith and that means you have to have both of them. Yep. Both Lithuania and Latvia. Yep. That's three. And Western Ukraine. So Four. I have, a, I have all five of those. Five. So Germany has plus five victory conditions. Uh, score one, Victor Germany owns one of the following land zones, Picardy or Lorraine. Yep. All about Lorraine. So that's six victory conditions. Uh, score one for Middle Africa, if Germany connects East Africa with Cameroon or South Africa. No. Yep. Global Reach, score one objective if Germany has a naval base and a territory at least one IPP at the end of the game on the Pacific and one cruiser on the map. It has one naval base. One naval base. That's not the country's not worth anything. But but uh, the Kaiser Wilhelm land's worth one. Yeah, but it doesn't have a naval base. Okay, and you don't. Have so a do you have there. to have a base on a country worth one, or what does it just, say? This is in a territory worth at least one. So that in a territory worth at least one. Ha or has a line Brazil or Argentina. Okay, almost though. Almost, yeah. How close were you to a line in Argentina? One. Well, I already have it. Yeah. How about Brazil? Two. Okay. So the U.S. Where's the U.S. on that? Yeah, and Mexico was building up forces to start marching south. We're going to take Brazil by force if they wouldn't join us. Okay. We're trying to put them up to it. Uh, yeah, having that, having this, having this was a real pain. Not only because you yeah, had three guys there, but because you could also. If yep. Mexico didn't go south, I was going to start building as much as I could to march in the U.S. You had reached into three U.S. territories with Mexico. So I had to actually rail guys that were preparing for Europe to come over here to get ready for the offensive. Mm -hmm. um, so that, you so that would have hampered the U.S. capabilities quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, it would have taken me several turns to deal with you is the thing. And the last one is one victory objective. Germany has as many dreadnoughts as Britain or more subs than destroyers. Or more subs than Britain has destroyers. Maybe you have five. <laughs> We're tied. Tied, okay, so you don't have more. I shouldn't have lost that one, so. <clears throat> okay. So I've got one, two, four, five. Six for Germany alone. Okay. What score Ottomans? Ottomans are zero. Ottoman zero and um anything to extrapolate? No. They they got kicked all out of the Middle East. I mean uh, Austria Hungary is gonna end up with four. Because oh, they, wow. they can't you guys, get, you guys got ten. No, they can't get Five. Turin. Oh, they can't. No, they can't get Turin. Turin is right here. Yeah, they can't get in there. Germany was going to take that. Not. Yeah, there's just Austria. too much stuff there. Yeah. So four. Unless what? I mean, unless you wanted to replace Constantinople with a different one. Uh yeah. yeah. Well, I don't it's, know if I'm going to. Constantinople is Istanbul. So when yeah. would Austrian yeah. Ottomans ever go to war? Yeah, that's true. Unless um, we give hold on to. Everybody wanted that. Especially Russia. Well, what if Ottomans get a point for keeping it? Make that one the victory objectives. They have to keep Istanbul. Pretty easy to keep Istanbul. Yeah. That's. <clears throat> um, okay. So, uh, British, how many you get? I don't know. I get one for the oil victory. If Britain has Iraq or Syria, I have Syria. Okay. Britain ends the game because that's at least two German colonies in Africa. I do have that. Score one victory point. Britain controls Hong Kong, Malay, and and at least one dreadnought in the Pacific, which I don't. I pulled everything. Okay. What else? Score one objective in the game. I have Constant, uh, Constantinople, Gibraltar, and Suez. No. No. And Germany has no remaining capital ships and no more than three surface warships on the board. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my max is only five. Okay, so you got two. Uh, United States score one victory if the, US, if the USA's loss is less than 10 units and less than two capital ships. So yes, that's our neutrality one. Well, if 
prevent any part of the Americans from possession of a major, another major power? No. Uh, the U.S. has more dreadnoughts than Japan and owns all Pacific islands it began the game with. Yes. That's two. And then three for war credit. So U.S. is three. Okay. And then France. Russia died. <laughs> Where's our French? Italy does not have independent positions. Where's France? Anybody have France? Have you seen France? Okay. There it is. Okay, France. Germany's been surrendered. No. Syria. No. Thanks, Doug. Um, oh, score one. Well, I don't. <laughs> yeah. uh, score one victory objective in the game. France is older starting colonies. Did anybody steal my colonies? Uh, French colonies. Terribly, but then I think you got them all back. One for former Ottoman German Austrian Hungarian land zone. France controlled it in the game. I do have a. I do have Togo. So I have. If I'd known that was one, one just put that guy right there. Two. And they get then they lose their victory point, right? Yeah, the Dervish State, you could have Yeah. You could have jacked that. <laughs> we need to be reading our enemies at victory conditions. Yeah. For two. Francis, two. Two. Uh so uh you guys got a total of ten, ten and we got a total of three, four, five, seven. So That's pretty good. It's called the draw. To draw within three shocking partial victories within seven that seems kind of high for partial victory yeah i think we might have to edit some of that five all right so um he draws down to two, i don't know um, how does range seem a little bit high overall so to draw what do we get to do first of all feels kind of like a draw kind of yeah feels kind of like a draw and kind of not so it's probably right okay um, let's see what the chat says. Any comments, guys? Any comments on the chat as we talk about it? Not none on the chat right now. We got three people watching. Anybody out there? Talk about Victor. So, you know, I guess my, my, my concern is, you know, the victory conditions, you know, how easy are they? Are they, are they doable and acceptable? Are they too, con you know, are they? Simplicity wise, they seem fine. Okay. Uh, with the uh, exception of a couple of little minor ones that we talked about editing. Okay. They seem okay. The only one was... But France had one where it was Germany was done in. <clears throat> the Germany was surrendered. Yeah. yeah. Good luck with that one. And I and I think that that's <clears throat> see the thing. I think that's kind of a double VC because if Germany surrenders, it's going to get zero VCs. Yeah. Which is going to mean that that's a total victory. Is you're going to get a victory plus a negative victory. Yeah. So I, I try not to make it. Because if you get, like, here's the thing: if you surrender, you get zero, and that's what really bumps people up into total victory. Yeah. Is there is there a victory condition one side or the other for German territory, German homeland? In terms of what? Uh, whether he gets a point for holding all of the German homeland, or the French get a point for taking it. Um, there isn't anything like that. No. Should it be considered? So um, there's a middle ground. territorial integrity. You get to keep. Um, we'll consider that. Uh, what about? Um, what do you guys feel about the game speed? Is it just bogged down too much with the mountains and the trench lines? Is it just, um, is it historically accurate but boring? Is it? No, one of my victory conditions was to have a dreadnought in the Pacific, but yet I don't even start with a dreadnought in the Pacific. Okay. Just for gotta, a, oh, you got to help. I think we got. I think there. there probably is a dreadnought in the Pacific. I think we. No, there's it. not. I mean, not, not, and again, I think when we relook at that, because for some reason the dreadnoughts, which we cut them down. Yeah, cut them down didn't help, so we built them up yeah. to fix that. So because that was off, we might want to review. The Don't you start with one in the Indian well, Ocean? It's actually. You yeah, you started with a pre dread. Pre dread, yeah. <clears throat> Do you have the ability to build one out there? 
I mean, so imagine if, imagine if we'd had Joey and uh, and Kurt here, and Italy been an independent player, and Japan had been an independent player. You know, there could have been more competition. Yeah, we would have convinced one of them to join us at least. Yeah, yeah pre dreads out there in '81. That's it. Uh, how, did you, how did you feel about the balance of your countries? Um, I think Austria was pretty good, being that uh, it was a real struggle at the beginning. I was begging for money, and then it, it turned around with a successful Germany and the and a fall of Russia. So that one felt good. Germany felt very historic. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was pretty good. Tur Turkey would have had some problems without that British dreadnought trying to get into Russia. It yeah, it helped a lot on the shore bombardment. Yeah, mm -hmm. that dreadnought really did help out. It did a lot, a lot. of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I just got whooped once everyone else showed up in the Middle East. I, I don't know that they would have a realistic chance of getting down to the Middle East and holding mm -hmm. it for the game. That seems tough. Yeah, and then, you know, traditionally, the British came up through Iraq. They came up the rivers. Um, yeah. And then there was a lot of fighting in there. I think Iraq needs to be worth at least a point because there was oil there. I think we need to, think we need to maybe put Constantinople at two and Iraq at one. And Constantinople is one of everyone, though. Yeah. The Russians actually call it, had a name for it. They called it Tsargrad. Like that, they had already named it, have a Russian name for it. Because <laughs> I kept reading about Tsargrad and I'm like, where the heck is Tsargrad? Well, I mean, you can see how important it would be for the Russians. Oh, well, it, it's, it's all the black sea wheat flows in and out of there. I mean, you read about why Ukraine was so important. It had all the coal, all the wheat, all the, I mean, it was just so important. And when they lost it, they were like, yeah. and, and then all the oil was down here in Transcaucasia. So, but then a lot of the heavy industry, the Bolsheviks ended up controlling. So, okay. Um, um, do we need to speed this game up? Is it, is it just bogged down with the trench lines, well, bogged down with the mountains, bogged down with the artillery? With like, it being four month turns, I think it seems to scale. Okay. But in terms of a playability thing, if you're like, what am I going to play tonight? Are you going to be like, God, God, it just bogs down. Do we need some mandatory offensives? We do, for sure. Okay. Yeah. And, and, uh, I mean, one thought on, on doing that is once a line reaches a certain strength, right. mandatory uh, okay. offensive. I was thinking 12 just because it's double the, the trench line. Yeah. So if you've got 12 infantry, mandatory attack. Now you've got to do something to one, one round. regulate that right, attack. Because the other side's going to mm -hmm. be entrenched. Because I can say, oh, i got 12 infantry. I'll just throw one infantry suicide attack into France. That's my attack. Instead of throwing everything there. What if you're required to do a, a, a once a year offensive? And you don't, you don't know when it's going to come. Okay, define the offensive. Everyone. Uh, one, you know, you've got to attack one territory. Um, so if you, you know, you've got to attack a territory in Europe with, um, you know, your full strength in, in one zone. I mean, you could game it and put like, I'm putting one guy here. Or you've got to have a, you know, a six plus infantry offensive or, a, you know. So, I mean, if you had a, a certain unit required. I like the six plus, because if we make it where you have, it's 12 to require the offensive, at least half those forces have to push. And so you have a one time per year, like mandatory, or I have it I have it as random events right now, because it, you know, mandatory offenses. Um, I figure once per year be enough. I don't think so. How often do There's they- three turns a year, so. Yeah, how often do they really go on huge offensive each year? I mean, it, like an all out go for it. as you read it, you just read like there was all this political pressure and stuff and people who were generals wanted to make names for themselves and sure. people like were like, you know, we've got to do something. And of course, um, so they would just they would just try and hit the lines with everything. Yeah, but it was only it was only a couple of times a year. I mean, it wasn't like, all the time. Yeah, like but the psalm and, and they just didn't learn. <laughs> just I mean, you read it and you're like, you know, it's going to happen every time you're like. They decided to attack in Austria Hungary and they got their butts beat. And then Austria Hungary came back and they got their butts beat. For the later wars, 
unless they've been filled in. We had empty slots for random events on some of the numbers, I thought. Yeah. We could fill those in with mandatory offenses. Yeah, as it, as it got later in the war, people more developed more techniques and more tactics. And so, like, would it would make you, like, want to have to develop some of those stormtroopers, some of those other things. Right. Yeah, requiring offensives, I would think right. twice about stormtroopers, just for sure. Okay. I mean, that number of artillery I'm looking at with the, with the French there is just ridiculous. Well, that's what the Germans. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and. Same. Yeah. 14 to 13. The, the number of guns per <clears throat> square mile on those lines was nominal. You should make them fight automatically. Make them fight. Guns per year. Make them fight. We were talking earlier, so if they hit 11 or 12, you get 11 or 12 infantry in a zone. Every, have, every zone that has 11 or 12. They have to make an offensive. Fights. Every zone. But 12 plus, 11 plus. With 12 or more infantry. Yeah. But you also have to do Full some kind of buy where they have to buy infantry because you don't want people just sitting there buying artillery. 12 plus units? I mean, what are they going to do? They're going to, oh, I'm going to buy 11 infantry, then I'm going to have maximum cavalry, maximum artillery, maximum stormtroopers, you know, I, bet, I, I don't what, have... What about infantry class units? So militia say, count, say, infantry so count, units. and cavalry all count against mm -hmm. that 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, infantry class. The zone, then you just buy it. artillery. But that costs you five, so... Yeah, is that the other people can buy a ton of inventory but and still charge the lines. Won't make a trench. No, well, that's true. So you're going to have yeah. to put artillery there. Uh, I'm sorry, infantry. Yeah. So you have a trench line. My, my only concern as we play it out is like, okay, so I have to make an attack. It's bad for me. Yeah. Um, I do it. Like if I'm thinking like I'm France, okay, I get hosed. And now smooth. my front collapses because I've got three fronts here. Yeah. Right? I've got three places that, that Germany can hit. Good point. Well, but you're going to talk. You're going to lean over to the Brits and go, "Hey, you guys got to go too," because you're going to try and convince your partner he's got to go, or, or the game's at risk. Yeah. So I mean, the British will have to make mandatory offenses too, um, and it, and it might not be. I mean, maybe maybe let's say it's Britons and they get a mandatory offensive. They might go, "Okay, well, I want to use mine to attack the Netherlands." What if, you, what if you what if you put it one mandatory attack per front, not per territory? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So well, that's the way I would go, and then that way. So then there's the British and the French. They they decide we we both better go together because if we don't, the Germans are just going to roll one of us up. That way, you can at least choose one your your strongest mm -hmm. position to use. Or you could be like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit. You're saying per turn, per, per round? front, per front. Per, per off the year, the attack. It's still per year, right? Every time you're over, whatever we decide that it is. Oh, so every turn. <laughs> well, every year, I think. I think every year would be fine. I like not knowing when it's coming. I like that factor. Speaking of which, every year we. We'd have to make it random to where mm -hmm. the French mm -hmm. or the mm -hmm. British could attack the Germans before they attack mm -hmm. on some rounds. <sighs> well, you can say for a year, you have to. I mean, the Germans them. will make their attack first. That'll be their yeah, mandatory yeah. offensive yeah. for the turn because they're going to want to take Lorraine. Yeah. Okay. And then before the end of 14, they'll have to fight back. But that'll put them at a disadvantage because if they fight back against the Germans, then. Guess what? They've squandered all their units. They need to make a trench line. I don't know. We have to think about. I mean, there should be, because of the scale, there should be probably a little bit more action in the front lines, but the mandatory attacks, yeah, it could really mess up some of these countries. Yeah. Um, We'll make it where you have to do a mandatory attack with at least so many units. Uh, the attrition factor. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Like that. Okay, unfortunately, I'm going to start doing my attack that no more. That way you, do, you don't have to do an all-out offensive. You just do a major offensive, yeah. So what would be a major offensive? Four infantry Somewhere plus two other? Three or four infantry. So many infantry have to go in and, you know, you're welcome to use anything else you want. Mm-hmm. X amount of infantry. Minimum. Want to say, what, three infantry? I think it should be one Four? Man. You know, I would almost say if you... you know, they're going to die more than likely. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the thing is, is, is you could just get screwed. You could just get... You could just make an offensive and get screwed so bad that be one of those, you, someone could set up a line similar to that, take a picture of it, and just roll some dice and see what happens. You know, three dice go or three men go. You know, yeah. of course you're gonna get a trust. Well, yeah, just with that defense strength of six. I mean, that's just yeah. You're rolling ones. Or mm-hmm. You're rolling twos. Well, you're rolling twos. Three for three. One two. 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 Maybe with a three with artillery, right? In the offensive. I was gonna say, yeah, couldn't I would definitely bring artillery in if I'm going in with. Right. Yeah. What about so artillery it, supporting infantry? Just likely you're gonna lose twice as many. If you're attacking with three and they're defending with six, you're gonna lose twice as many. Fear math. Yep. Okay. So that's pretty historical. Yeah. What we didn't see is we didn't see those kind of offenses in 1914 and 15. So we're looking at stacks that are just daunting. Mm-hmm. You, you almost got to play test this. You, you got to play test this whole piece. You can almost oh, yeah. just isolate that. Because mm-hmm. losing twice as many in the offense in 1914 and 15 may not be so bad. Now, what about giving a the artillery support bonus for the infantry going in if they're back of artillery. The artillery don't have to actually join the battle, but they support from a distance. Yeah, you don't want to lose artillery going in and you lose infantry. Well, so we could pair them with artillery from a distance? That's another idea. I, I don't know what. If we make the required number of artil- uh, yeah. artillery, infantry that go in more than four, the build up of the lines themselves is going to be very slow if not non-existent because of the amount of manpower how close to the lines these countries can build it right. but the pro- but part of the problem is that once you take a territory like munich you're getting you're getting a, as you as you reach for, further forward you're getting away from your supporting artillery and, and it's got to be brought up supply lines so it gets harder to force right. attacks i don't know why you feel like you need that rule but i mean it just the artillery support would get make the infantry stronger for the attack. I, I get but, it, but I think that it wouldn't simulate taking the whole territory. It would just simulate a line breakthrough. Yeah. Should be more of an attritional type of thing. Out of yeah. curiosity, why are you guys saying that like if you've got an attack of four, you're definitely going to lose all four? So we're, we're going to have a lot more infantry there defending. But we're the assumption is is that with that rule throughout the game, the stacks won't get as big as they are. Right now. They should hover right. somewhere between six and twelve, right? Isn't that the goal? But six is going to give you a trench line. You need, you yeah. want to keep that trench line bonus, or you're going to get rolled the next right. turn. Yeah, if I'm just saying, if he's rolling sixes, if he's got eleven of them there, and you're both playing up three guys, two, you're going to get. Four. Like right here, if Germany's are required to send in four guys into France each turn, they can only build four in Munich. That's their first response. It wouldn't be each turn. It would be each year. But So they can't reinforce the lines near as fast. Yeah. If And that's the all. point of those manpowers. It's, it's... Find that number. And then if it doesn't work, Try their artillery support. If it doesn't work, just grab it and lump something different. There's got to be a way to to like encourage the attacking and the attritional stuff without making somebody risk their position. Do the we stuff they know is going to get them. In the game, what about how much infantry a territory can support? Yeah. There is that. 
I mean, when you look at the numbers, the reality is you know, logistics, armies march on their feet, right? We've, we've heard all those quotes. Logistics would be a limiting factor in that area. It would be a huge limiting factor. Yeah, but you don't want to add another layer of complexity. Right now. It's a stacking limit, essentially. You can't do that with that, all territories. I don't. I wouldn't think we'd want certain territories to all like cancel. Right? And because we changed the trench line rules, we are not worried about multiple trench lines on different borders anymore. Right. right. So that makes the stacking rule more feasible. Yeah, but if we're going to do stacking limits, then we're, we're getting away from global rules. The only reason you might have stacking limits is just, I mean, the stacking limit could be something pretty high, like 18. How many do you have in one of those German territories now? Right now, it's at nine infantry plus ten artillery. Nineteen plus aircraft and two aircraft. Oh, I mean, they just they use a lot more logistics and uh, freaking infantry up there. Um, so, you know, if you had a stacking limit as high as eighteen, you're already making World War One specific rules to deal with that I, that's why i kind of I, I i cringe a little bit at the artillery supporting rule just because i don't know artillery is more limited here than it is in, in world war ii and the territories are ginormous it's yeah. not like the artillery sitting next to the trench you know if you're attacking with your six infantry and four artillery and you take seven casualties, you just you lose one of your artillery. It's just yeah. it's a, it's a gameism that we've been playing since we've been playing Axis and Allies. And I wouldn't I wouldn't screw with that one as much. Stacking limits would be new, but people are familiar with them. Mm -hmm. You said stacking limit eighteen. Oh, ah, okay. Sometimes I wish I had that in other Axis and Allies when people build these. You know. Yeah, that's how I have a friend, so their whole family plays it. That's how they max and allies. They'll go like 10 turns, and then they'll start moving stuff around with stacks this tall. And I'm not right. exaggerating. Well, Chamberlain, uh, you know, tanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what are we wanting to release this? How soon do we need to start ironing this stuff out with starch? As soon as, as soon as we come up with something. Uh, let's go home and think about it. We'll rewrite some of the, we'll try to rewrite it, try and smooth it out a little bit. I mean, we could always cut the income down a little bit if we wanted to do that, or or jack up the prices. That would that would limit how much you could reinforce and build. But then that would make you more conservative with your stuff rather than less. Yeah. What about the, the number, prices? I think are decent. What about the number of ship types? Will and I at one time we were going to put in. Destroyers as well as torpedo boat destroyers and another down the bond. Only Britain had had them really. No, the plants had some. Others, I was just listening. On those. So they had a lot of TBDs. Um, you know, France's France's naval policy was to just contain the mad. A lot of coastal stuff, TBD type stuff. They didn't they didn't care as much about the big stuff. Um, so do we need another type of ship? I don't, I don't see it because I don't see naval battles as being as. Not. I think it's fine. The, the way biggest it thing is. I'm having trouble with playing Britain is just going against the stinking subs. Yeah, the, the fact that the subs can move around is. What's your moving on the subs? Two. Two. Maybe you make them one. Maybe you recognize that subs are really. And how many subs can, I mean, how far out could the subs go back then? Could they? They were in the Atlantic. Yeah, they had pretty deep. Going. Well, well, if we, made them, all, if we made them all coastal boats, then they would have a move of one. Two from, a, two from a German base. Yeah, and all of these are coming from German bases. From in here, and they've, Belgium, Belgium have a, what is red? So giving them a move and then turning them in to the day, really, when did the people start building ocean going subs? Well, like Japan said, you give them a sub, did, they only have coastal the subs, they didn't have ocean going turn. over one. Maybe they're all coastal. And the reason I made coastal subs have a move of one 
isn't because of their water speed. It's because they have to keep going back yeah. for supplies and torpedoes. Like it sort of represents the fact that they're transiting back during this four month wow. turn to get more torpedoes after they do what they do. Yeah. You want to keep, keep it, but like in 36, keep coastal yeah. subs and regular subs make regular ocean going subs that, part of the submarine yeah. doctrine. Yeah. I, think that would be I think that, uh, I think that maybe if they were all coastal and then we had that point at which the unit evolution occurs in 1919, then, then, then you start buying up then. It says the United States L class of 11 subs built between 1914 and 17 were the United States Navy's first attempt to sign ocean going subs. That was well, US. So then they were doing it 14 through 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, they were. A lot of them didn't, just could not go that far. Uh, the Germans, they, they operated around. So the how far, does anyone know how far the World War I German subs operated out into the Atlantic? Okay. German subs had a logistics problem too. I mean, they even in World War II, they were cramming every nook and cranny with food and water and... Yeah. So, I mean, the, the opposed eye roll, my original thought on that was to have it be that um, we could give German subs a less of a die roll. I think I gave them plus two. I could give them a plus one. Yeah. Um, if they weren't as effective as in World War II. Um, but I, I made that I made that rule for World War One to for to stop the transport buildup in on the on the German coast because what was happening every turn was. Britain was buying transports in men, and Germany couldn't do anything. And I, I had made them spread out their ships in, on those lines. And that was the whole, the whole point. So do you guys want to keep talking about this or move into inner war? Uh, we should probably table this and move into inner war. Okay. Um, so let's think about what this would look like if we were... Germany started the war with some gasoline-burning U-boats, but soon embraced diesel and had a range of more than 4,000 miles. But they couldn't go very fast or stay under very long. Okay. So, so range was good. Yeah, they could. I knew they could go a little further, but they were slow, and they were cumbersome. Well, the range of your fuel doesn't equate to you can really stay out that long. No, in part because like yeah, if you have six torpedoes and you use them all up. You got to look back. at Doss Boot. All the food hanging from the racks. Well, that's right. Once yeah. the food was gone, oh, and water. Fuel, Don't forget water. water. Everything. So here's what would happen. Let's just assume that we're in a draw. So, so do we get all of our points to spend for everybody, or do we just get the difference? So you don't get any points to spend because we fought to a draw. Okay. So well, I guess we have a clean inner war setup. Um, German in German would have. So if we if we use what happened now and said it was a draw, what happened is German income would increase to eight from from like two. German influence would go up. German starting forces would go up. And Germany would get to keep any Pacific islands it owned at the end of the game, which would be all of them. Um, and probably should keep it in colonies at the end of the game. But. Shouldn't to have Japan been gobbling up those islands, prepare for Yeah, they should have, but World War II? Or do, can they get them during interwar? When did I, they when Well see so it, it just depends. Like if we're if we're doing if we're treating interwar as a bridge game between okay. two games, excuse me, then then what happened in interwar World War One affects it. But if we're starting it as a like a, you know a prequel game, then it's as if the Treaty of Versailles happens and they have virtually nothing. Okay. So it's a very difficult thing to simulate. Um, Mr. Friend, would it be possible to get, I don't know, like a PDF, JPEG, something printable of this section of the map that would fit on a piece yeah, of printer paper? If I had that, I could set up stuff mm -hmm. and be play testing. On how to break lines and practice. I don't need the whole map. Just this section. Convoy raid. 
You're always a surface pencil. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of the same thing. Is it kind of like... I, I, I don't have some money rules for some of that. So... Well, maybe you do, maybe you would get to spend... Oh, no, there's no draw option. Okay. So, uh, do we want to move now into Inner War? Clean this up? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. Here's some, hey, Will, there's an article here. Yeah. Know, of course, you can go to Wikipedia that says, I was looking at the U-boat campaign. A lot of it operated right there, the U-boats, right there in England, okay. Ireland. Uh, you can look. The areas there where they operated around the English and, coast. So that gives, and that's so if you keep them where they're coastal here, mm -hmm. they can't come out here. Look. Well, I mean, if we kept them as a as a coastal boat, then their move would be one. Um, and so they could go a long way away, but it would take them a while. I feel like I'm on a railroad siren. Seriously, what's up, Doug? It's Saturday afternoon, right? Yeah. Oh, this is the tornado test. Run! Run! The Germans did win. Yeah, six years ago. Man, I never did build that. The good thing is, we do have that warning. Yeah, yeah. That dreadnought. I should have. Well, we've got the. They should have built some of those embarrassing tanks. You know. Yeah. yeah, I actually built another tornado one. Oh wow, tsunamis are. I was getting ready for. Uh, I don't see how they could call it a tank. tank. There's like two wheels in the ship. I don't know what that. Yeah. Oh yeah. You could get them in the bay. I, I bet tank the. Tank thing? No. I mean, you wouldn't. You would get the surge. Here, here, here. I would never drive one of those. U.S. box. Hey, watch what you call me. Hey. Money out here. Money, money, money. Here's the US button. Thank you. Yep. I don't remember what we took out of here. <laughs> no, just put them in there. Will 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 need them to play his game. Um, I'll be play testing. Uh, I was like robbing other stuff. I'm like, dude, use my stuff. I had to. I had to rob all my. Here's a Brit. All of my stuff. And that I. Okay. <sighs> I need I all like these little round owls that have the little cheapy. Circle on them, Somebody's paint happy. Don't put any of mine. It's just Don't for play testing, man. It's just for play testing. Remember, you're the one that said use a penny. I don't like you're the one that said that, Doug. I don't, I don't like that you're Where are we putting the coastal guns? Just in the boxes? Uh, Will's getting free stuff from HBG. Some of them had, paid. Yeah, had painted coastal guns. I spend more time working for you than I spend working on my own job. Good. Just so you know. We appreciate in that, case Will. you're wondering how much time I spend working for you. In case oh, yeah. and my, and my hourly rate is a psychologist, I'm making like two bucks an hour. Well, you can't use your hourly rate as a psychologist. I can't. We know they're overpaid. They're not overpaid, man. They're the only thing keeping keeping this world together. <laughs> you've never it, heard that. Keeping it so uh -huh. people don't go crazy. You're the only Who's one. Who's got the some kid comes to school for us to blow up the place. I'm the one they call. I don't think they call it's depressing. Um, because no uh -oh. a, you don't always have a person that age of culpability. Mm. B, you don't always have an arrestable offense. C, you take that kid and you throw him in jail for two days. He comes out no less of a threat than he went in. You actually have to mitigate the threat. Now, you might ask why you don't just shoot him. That's and that would be inappropriate. That's inappropriate. Is that some? That would not make. That would not no, be the correct response. No. You have to triage that. You have a box of and, 
Make sure that where the uh, yeah, right turquoise Turks. Uh, turquoise Turks. Turquoise Turks. What's a D8 out for? That's a box. That's a 10. What? What's it out for? No idea. Is there a box? Is there a box? Is there a box? Another box. <laughs> I think I actually rolled it for the 12. Where do you put all your markers and stuff? Is that good or bad? Militia. Just throw them in there. Then. Where's the Japanese of British? Oh, yeah, Here, pile of Japanese. Britadian. I oh, like that one. Mine's, mine's padded. I like that. I like that clack. Where's the Russians? I would like the clack, but uh, the Russians are over. I better Here's not. the pile of uh, militia markers. You want to put those? Just, just put them in one of those boxes. Clack is nice, but me and my guys we usually just wind up playing at 3 a.m. when the rest of the family's trying to sleep. So we usually get out That's a problem. Towels. Yeah, because they don't like hearing <laughs> the dice roll trying to sleep. So we have to get towels and roll dice and towels. Ah, Doug, why you put this here? Why don't you put a? Uh, you That's could tape it down. Position. It's just been such a problem. Why don't you tape down the uh, cord? I remember where it's at. Oh, sorry. Well, that doesn't mean you need to test the rest of us. <laughs> because oh, only cool. some of us can pass. Are we going to put these back away? I... No, give them the will. Right. Oh, I don't keep getting these Word documents and Dropbox. I need, I need. All right, thank you, sir. All right, we got dice. I don't even use the militia tokens. I use the yellow PC chip I use. We're going to need ten sided dice in here. Oh, Will's private stash of ten sided. I have not for any ten sided guys. I'm surprised that's in there. Maybe it's maybe it's in farm. Do you have any more of these books now? All right, so that's true. Need that? Yeah. Well, I don't sell them anymore. Are the ones that I use. Did you get the people write on this? Hmm? Yeah. Did you get them? I have a guy who makes them for me. Right the only thing I thought is they were just kind of spam. So, yeah. Well, yeah. you don't want them so big, you, you use up to so much real estate. So, I have a, a dice tray I got about that big. <laughs> that's, that's a suitcase. With uh, <laughs> Well, I put the dice tower in it, and then I actually have your small dice tray next to it, so you can keep sixes and twelves apart. I have one. Uh, these are bigger versions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here's a big dice tray. Yeah. What's yep. guys? Just too much real estate. It is. It is a lot of real estate. All right. New map. Coming out. Inner war. I can always. We have the inner war set up. Everyone. Um, yeah. Gonna need, need to make the print job. Doug, you want to print in a war setup? I like the. Uh, um, do we yeah. still use? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna use the World War One. Pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Doug, did you have those three core markers? Oh, I'm not sure if my navigation. I think it does. Both that one was once. Yeah. What's okay, that? Andrew, I'm just gonna have you start setting stuff up. What's that? Oh. I'll grab the Germans. Do I have what marker? Three core. Remember those? Do you have just anything we can use as a three core marker? I don't have three core We can use some. We're gonna need to print national reference sheets. So, Andrew, Berlin, infantry, and a free corps. What's a free corps? Let's put an infantry there for now. One infantry? Mm hmm. 
Baltic Sea, when dreadnought. Come on, F R E I core? Yeah. Fry core. Fry core. Fry core. But it, did, did you make the difference between uh, characteristically? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, West Germany, one militia. East Prussia, one militia. Latvia, one free corps. Fry German corps. volunteer units. They're like ex soldiers. Yeah. Fought as mercenaries, regardless of their nationality. Free regiments, which makes sense. Native volunteers, enemy renegades, and deserters and criminals. Mm -hmm. Exotically equipped. Okay. Yeah. Militias go where? Uh, militia, uh, West Germany, East Prussia. And the Free Corps in Latvia. Consisted largely of World War I veterans who were raised as right wing paramilitary exactly. militias. They're really militias. You could use a militia mark, couldn't you? Um, you no, because they're. Will. What? Who's that? I'm, I'm setting up Germany. Germany. I've got the setups over here. We need the national reference sheets. I'm making them. Okay. This is a militia, too. Um, okay. This uh, is precursor to Nazism and the Sturmabeitmen. Okay, you got that, Andrew? Uh, all right. And there's free cores. Where's the. Here it is. It does mean free. It's just not how you pronounce okay. it. Right? Yeah, just for now until we get Doug to give us a free core marker. Okay. Okay, Constantinople, one partisan. One German partisan. Uh, I tell you what, I know what you could use. You Ankara. Use Constantinople needs to be changed to Istanbul. Okay. Or at least we'll change it on something. Do you have a German, um, oh, what do you call those? The, uh, uh, Ankara 2 German uh, infantry. No, Folkstrom. Two German infantry. Basically, German infantry. Basically, you could use a Folkstrom marker if you wanted to. Yeah, that's fine. You could use the Folkstrom marker. And it's virtually the same thing. For the three core? Yeah. For Ankara. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
How can I help? Well, um, I don't know yet. Cool. I'll go right. shopping. In the Baltic. Um, what's that? What nation are you? TBD. Put it in 1919 Oh, I'm not in the line. That's why I need to get in here. Wi-Fi. What's your network? Quadic three four zero four. ISC is the Wi Fi. Um, I have no thing set up this. Hmm? I have no thing to set up this. Where's our uh, point of card? Oh, okay. For our, gotcha. All right. Good. So call our, no, our, you know, our build card. All that stuff. Okay. Uh, do we need the same build chart? We don't have anything on the map, dude. There's no, oh. there's no map set. Oh, don't worry about that then. Um, okay. Just, just hold on to those. That's the uh, World War One. Yeah. Um, all right. We're um, supposed to use the World War One build chart or the World War Two build chart. Probably the World War Two build chart. That's so gonna print out the build, the placement chart in a minute. Okay. Roger that. Yep. Here's a. Uh, have you have you seen that? Yeah. He's got the. Uh, this random events. Here we go. Okay. Random events table. Twilight yeah. struggle. All right. Uh, it's like a 60s uh, nuclear war. Infantry. Okay, let's go for. Um, you can get like a lot of cardboard edition for like 40 bucks. I'm already got it because we're going to go into the global games. Yeah. Is it open? I don't know. I think it is. It's on that shelf. Oh, well, my, on my, my version of it. Hey, Will, did you copy it over? I, I put sure. it in Dropbox. Yeah, not there yet. The word I'm showing you is thinking. Oh, okay. There's a death of date. Um, wh wh where are your partisans, Doug? Oh, okay, here's an Italian controlled partisan in British Somaliland. <laughs> and we need a Russian partisan in. You need a Russian partisan. Yes, you need a Russian partisan. Okay. Um, yeah. He's the kneeling guy. He's going to go in with Berber. Really? Show me, That's a bizarre Show place. me the folder that you put it in. Oh, man. Because that Helsinki. I think we're still... Oh, so you didn't put it in 14. That's what we're in inner war. That's where I was. Okay, I'll move it to inner war. No, no, I, I just moved it. That's where the folder I was looking in. Okay, um, check, check. Britain. Uh, who wants to set up Britain? Britain. Or not. That's done. I'll set it up. Um, where's the shipbuilding? Where are we going to put that? And you can uh, you can order direct from them and get like case. Uh yeah. You can get those. Okay. All right. Now, Andrew, take Britain and start. Did we finish Germany? Yeah. 
That's all they did. Oh no, we didn't finish it, but we've got to do some other stuff with it for an overlay. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, on we gotta. There's some overlays. Where do you stuff. guys? Are these the setup tree? No. no, they're not up yet. So, so, okay. we'll no, I'm pulling it off. Oh, I see. Okay. Do what I tell you to do. London infantry, artillery, and a and a fighter. One in DC, one in San Francisco. Is London its own oh, city? Uh, uh, London should be its own city now. Just put it over there. Um, we should draw it on. All right, the I need access yeah. to the U.S. And then Southeast England, one cavalry. So I guess it's the other one. Just it's the same thing. Yeah. Texas We're gonna cavalry. Separate it out. Uh, season twenty-five. Three dreads cruiser. Three dreads and. Texas, California, Chicago, and Two TBDs and a transport. Philippines. Yes. An aircraft carrier. There you go. And a submarine. No aircraft on the carrier? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good point. I'll put a fighter on there. Philippines. Okay. Panama. Okay. Um, in uh, in Liverpool, militia, cruiser, cruiser in Liverpool. This season. Um, Ten or eleven. Uh, let's put it in ten. Okay. Um, there you go. Two, what's she? Two tub. Um, I need Germany, but we're going to overlay, so we're working on Britain right now. Excuse me. Um, Minor factories. We don't have any factory pieces yet. Okay, we need a minor factory piece. Liverpool has already has So here's all the setups right here. Okay. Panama. 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 We need what? Uh, Beijing. Just whoever's setting up what country, just pull the band. Okay, C zone ten and Liverpool both have ships. So the Liverpool yeah, ships. No, need just to put them all in C zone ten. All of them. They don't need to go in eleven. Don't worry about it. BB dash. One more I'll tell you too. We'll fix them later. Um. Russians. All right. I don't know what we're doing. Transport in ten. All the Meyer factories. And oh, oh I don't see Beijing on here. Right. What and what color factories uh, do you guys need? They need them all. Are we playing with destroyers and TBDs in this? Saying, I don't know how many. They're they're on you here. will, but not yet. You so, so this spot. has set up one destroyer and two TBDs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. then do it. Then do it. make sure that make sure you're distinguishing them. Um. More Beijing actually. I already got it. I'll be right back. He's getting all the practice for you guys. Here's all the hits. What do you mean? Um, I'm working on Britain right now. There's a, Are we going to yeah. use the new pieces? Well, I think he's just saying to pull the factories, but, uh, you know, everybody. I, I pulled a few. Okay. Um, one coast. Oh, we have to distinguish submarine types too now. Oh, you're looking at you're looking at that already. So I'm gonna let you take that on. We need to distinguish subtypes too. We're doing yes, coastal. We, we will need coastals and. We're gonna more. Do, we need like the new pieces. The regular World War Two pieces. Not yes. World War One. Well, we need the World War One too because we're gonna transition. 
those as well. Here's the German box. It's over there, oh. Andrew. What do you, you said now? U.S. So Beijing is located. Peking. It's Peking. <laughs> wow. One pre and three dreadlocks. Do we need neutral factories? Probably not. Not many if we do. I'm just going to get two of everything. Okay. Neutrals aren't going to have anything over a minor, though, are they? Uh, no. I got a boat for that. I think there's too many ships going into the sea zone. Huh? Too many you ships. Believe me, the they're all in existence because the um Because the British Navy was so huge. Right. Africa, get you back to Um Okay, we had somewhere along here um, white, the white pieces. Here, let's go. All right. Oh, he ran off the whites. Both factories are in Africa. Um, Where's the fortification? There shouldn't be any factories in Africa. Oh my God. Available for yeah. purchase in Africa. Okay, setting up inner war now. Doing fortifications. Are we using the black, I guess, for the German thing? Did you pull up the American Over there. The, the, the American factory? Huh? No. In Africa. no, no, no. I was looking for a, a what do you coastal do? sub. Yeah, that's all right. I'll go get it. Is that part it. of the new kit? Must be. Like these? Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, you got TBD on it. Okay. <clears throat> this is very experimental, guys. So yeah. just bear with it. It's not fully developed. Like the uh, like World War One was. <laughs> We're not going to criticize. We're not criticize. Two more TBDs and a coastal side. Two more TBDs. We can pull from back there. What's that? We can pull from back there. Yeah, that's what I do. I'll yeah. Britain, if you want, I can run it. I, I, I've Which been pulling stuff out. I know where it is. Oh. Britain, several coastal subs and TVs. Thank you. I guess you're getting whatever you need. What did you need? Britain, several. Define several. Yeah. Uh, at least, say, 40. Panama. Seriously? Panama. Okay, I want more in this thing. So I think I'm going to ask for the U.S. Oh, the Russians? Unless that's a conflict of interest. Will. Yeah. And Zach a separate power in this? No. Thank you. I can probably take those factories back. All right, so who else? Can I, I got to say, I'm really excited about this game, though. It's not cool. going to be something you've never played. Absolutely. I actually was just describing it to my son on the phone earlier. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Perfect. Okay. And he's not really a game. Korea. Somebody working on France yet? 
No. I don't know if I have all the factories as no. good as they should be, so. Um, sorry, what is Shindong? Shandong. Um, it's Smith. right there. <laughs> it's what? It's right there. It's going to be its own territory. Doug, can I draw on this map? Well, it says it's next to no. C-Zone 56. But this yeah. is 56. Uh, they've been maybe renamed. It's right here. It's going to be its own zone. There? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's going to be its own little zone. Okay, I got it. Okay. Right over there. Uh, I could draw on that one? Yeah. And then I'm going to cut it and lay them over here. Oh, okay, well, I'll just lay it. Look these guys set up. I am. But I'm, we are setting. I'm setting up everybody's. No, no. Let, let those guys over there set up so we can fix yeah. this. Okay, well, let me tell you. Where's my pen? What happened to my, my Sharpie? I've got all the setups planned out. No, I need my Sharpie. Cool. Um, there it is. Can I get a Japanese cold stuff? Okay. Is that one in the box? So which one was we doing? China? Well, you know what I had was just this. As... As well, you gotta look at the entity. <laughs> British TBDs, man. Yeah. What? A Japanese coastal so. Okay, so we got that. There's a new territory. Yeah, just and I think we're gonna make this a quarter out there. Sure. Okay, when you do that, I'm gonna have to cut out that ocean now. You never know. When you feel like you're in the buying mood. Is it, I thought the time was what? changeable in that. What do you do? Infantry and Quang Tung, oh, you're going to do these two on the World War II map. You're going to make those changes to World 36. And There's no way. I think. Will we play it today? Yeah. When we play you the real intro war, is it going to have its own map? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, it's going to have an overlay. For the 36 map. Right. Well, I believe you should have had the overlay. Well, you have a, you have a made British zone, easier. a Greek zone. Would have. Um, the, he needs to fix this. And our knee, uh, Every single land zone has a boat being placed inside. So I'm just putting it next to the nearest yeah, port. Up, yeah. yeah. And with multiple sea zones, I just pick. Uh, yeah. Aiden. Am I missing any colors? So I got the US and UK, France, Italy, Where's Aiden? Russia, Germany. DD again. Well, originally we had one, but so here's what we have. Good job. This whole territory right here. But see, that was my marks. I don't know what you had because you never really marked on it. I started all the overlays. Well, we got all that reference. Um, okay, well. Now this. Uh, so we're not doing a, a radio one? Well, pull up the one you had. I haven't, I haven't worked on radio at all, so. How important it is. Pretty much, pretty much like it is. Yeah. Like a dump stone. Like right? mm -hmm. okay, so. well, Marshall Islands. Marshall Islands. Not really. Go. Cruiser. Formosa. Right. The TBD. Alright. 
Alright, I'm taking all this. So I think by 1925, it's... Well, that is British, right? Please don't. It was uh, Persia, I think. No, they ran. Ah, okay. I mean, I'm not saying you have to do it. I'm just saying there's several references in there that are different depending on what you pull out. You got British influence here, French influence, which is Syria. It's just a matter of what you think. So who owns these? me a white militia. Oh, white man standing tall. Okay. France is already set. Right. Okay. Like. So who's? Um, or no, somebody started on France. Me. Where's Mars? Oh, down here. I know it's on here. Blind. Maybe another one, though. Oh, my God. You got short on anything else? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So, we found the right So, I got pre dread. What about. So, this means actual battleships now. Okay. So, I'm going to have to start pulling. Real battleships. Huh? Real battleships. Yeah. Um, Is there any way you can give me three, four, five, five, five battleships? Five French battleships. Five French battleships. Five. It seems lofty. That yeah, does seem lofty. Because that represents like what we say it's a one to seven ratio. Mm -hmm. One to five probably the battleships. Okay. Oh, I gotta go get some TBDs too. Such. If you look at the things that I put in there, yeah, that's how I got them. That's all that is Armenia. Yeah, I gotta get. I mean, I have like just a barely five in here. Yeah, but that's the. 
what do you want? Like the the old ones? There's no, there's red nurse, right? We're using this Right. No, the 36 set doesn't come on. I know, but I need TBDs too. Oh, um, the other option would be we don't want to use those. Why not? Well, they've got oh, the yeah. lead yeah. into there and the finish yeah. goes into there. All right, jobs. This is I mean, you, know, you, you can make that off. territory, or we're going to make that all right. part of our rack. But my bosses are telling me. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Well, I don't want to make it part of a rack because the rack will go. No, no. Serial, the plant, two zones, two zones. All right, so. Because the, the, the three battleships that look a lot like Wait. a certain pre dread. Yeah. That's oh, hilarious. That's the only battleships we have. Yep. Oh. I've got a ritual that three Yeah, pull up three you see that until no, there's not a ton. Not in this box. Chains. It's gonna be its own maybe three zone then. Uh that's the one. That'll have to use chips. No, I, I gave him the, the Nevadas from the uh, uh ally. But that's they, also the pre dread. They look just like the pre dread. They do? Yeah, They're really close. Yeah. All right, get them back. Take these. All right. Uh, thank you. Twenty-five bucks to impress the French Navy. All right, I'll make an independent Macedonia. Oh, no, nice. No, That's no, sweet. Real. Yeah. Some serious stuff. Where are these from? No, well, no. Because I want to make. Those are all 3D printed. Those, uh, there's some permanent changes I want to make to the map. And outside. Well, I may have to buy some of I like the look of them. Four more DVDs. You need to get a bunch of Russian rentals. So you guys are working on the French setup? Yes, sir. We've got to talk about the British TBDs, Will. You got like 22 of them in the setup, all in different places. I, I realized that. I went off okay. historic numbers. We okay. might have to combine a couple files. Then. Okay. okay. For the sake of uh, I, I did go off there. This is very historical. See now. Hey. Well, we're no, cool with historical. We'll, we'll set it up just to see where they're at. <coughs> combine a couple. I tell you what, have a random event where you sink them and make reefs. Well, the, the, the <laughs> problem with it is, is that they've got so much more than they did in World War II. That. Uh, um, yeah, no, I, I'm not. I'm not refuting the numbers. I'm refuting the setup. I, I, I agree, agree with you. you. I totally agree with you. Yeah. yeah. I, I just think we'll have to combine a couple fleets together because. Otherwise, we're going to need another mold of this British TV. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cutting the neck. Go there. Making an okay. How are we coming into war here? Let's see if people doing. You never can have too many ships. That's the yeah, legacy. That's the coda. That's right. How are we looking on the factory? Oh my okay. gosh, you need a ton well, of besides Britain missing French militia factory. too. Um, I think uh, yeah, you yeah. know, I, factories were not on here because we thought about printing them on the map. So uh, put the major factories where they're supposed to be. Yeah, Here's Italian. all the markers. Italian. 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 Uh, well, oh. The militia markers are over here. Oh, I'm just going to grab some militia. <sighs> all right, I'll make it simple. No, use yep. markers. Use the markers. Okay. Use well, you can use militia, but use markers as well, so we can distinguish them easily, easily to the eye. Um. Mine are pretty good. Though. Mine aren't. The old door. Tunisia. Otherwise known as Tunis. Syria, French occupied Turkey. There's gonna be an overlay there. We'll just put them there. You know, 
northern Russia. Nice. As we always do. I'm making up where the factories are. Just for the state. I will. Yeah. Syria and Morocco. Russia. Well, white Russians and stuff. It's just going to kind of be. I think we might be able to just use our bells for what we got there. Excuse me. Well, who's setting up on my stuff? Yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm laying it on there. I know, we're going to get pieces off, dude. Huh. Put it on. I was laying it on as I as I lay it down, so I knew what okay. went where. Okay. All right. I don't know what's where. Season. That's why I was adding it. That's... Mm. It was like a bull in China closet. You just got to you just got to step in and 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 get busy. You just can't be too. You know, British. So there's Russia. no overlay for China anymore. There's no overlay for Russia anymore. So all these factories can go back where they came from. So, yeah. All yeah. right. I guess London has a major factory. Uh, I don't know where these went. <laughs> I I was so. wondering if some of them were yeah. not majors. Well, Syria. Because well, I don't know who was setup site. Where the factory? It says there's nothing. In you know, factory. originally I oh. had just put one in there. Just, first time I've seen I didn't do, I didn't do I didn't do factories just make them up you know where they are in 36 just put them on the board um, German industry all right okay um, and the reason is because uh, originally I had people actually having to upgrade their factories from majors to minors and that took even more money is this in. the Italian yeah. yeah with all the random stuff in it I just wanted to make sure that's what the, the doorbell was all about. Okay, so um, it's fine. It's fine. All right, that's all I want to know. Just make sure you're all right. Because I, I saw somebody ring the, the bell and then go in, but I never saw who they were, so I was a little worried. But that's fine. All right. All all right. right. Uh, okay, so we have a French militia in there. Yeah, I've already, yeah, French militia goes in wherever you Germans finish. Okay. I'll take the rest of these back. Thank you. Get some tape. Done. Yeah, everyone's done. Okay. I don't know. He's not done. Set up. He's got the Jeremy sheet. You got some tape, Doug? I want some I, I got it. Here. Close to this. I doubt. What's a heavy? Uh, cruisers? Uh, there's no such thing. Okay, so just put down some go. cruisers. This is heavier, light cruiser. It's just for reference. Don't worry about it. Put it in your hand. Where do you want to take the overlay? Yeah. Who's got the British? Who's got the British pieces? AP? What's it? Huh? I don't know. What's an AP, sir? Transport. AP? Naval. Naval lingo, like a CL, but like a CA, CB, and superior. Well, I, I knew those. I actually didn't know AP. Hmm. And neither. So Doug puts them on everything. Okay, so we're going to have to try to try this one. Uh, Doug, did you print the scripted events? And ran, you printed the random events. Do you have the scripted events? I gave them to you. Uh, okay, you gave uh, me the random events. No, I gave them both. I printed them both. Mm, nope. Descriptive events. Separate file. I know. That's printed. Oh, there it is. You are so right, Doug. You are so profoundly right. My memory is not that bad. Where's my models? Oh, here we got one. Yeah, the bird, there's something missing in Turkey, though, for Britain. No, Japanese. Iranians. Yeah. Naval designations. I can do that. Do what the fuck up? It's a light brown. 
didn't look like it. Too, but, uh, yeah, you will, you will see Dakota today um, some scrapping and some upgrading of ships during the course of the game. <clears throat> um, Doug, did you put unit evolution chart? I can either print or set up. Is you got two hands, Doug. Is this the same thing as Turkestan? Turkmenistan? Mm, is Turkmenistan the same thing as Turkestan? No, I think Turkestan is the Kazakhstan, Turkestan. So that would be where? To get to your, to, with the desert, the next one up. Okay. Kazakhstan, Tur Turkestan. Should this be because I want World War II stuff? I'm like 36 stuff. That's no. what I thought. Because you've got unit evolution stuff. Remember? So we'll need both World War I and World War II stuff. You're going to be evolving I, I, stuff. I have been getting World War II stuff. I've had to go back and get it. Hey, Greg. Looks like we need uh, two more pieces or so. It's like my wife, dude. You're like, don't you show up? Just pour those in your hand. You pour them in my mouth. How big is the map overlay for the 1914 setup for the 36 map? Oh, good job on the take, guys. <laughs> Did you not like it? <laughs> well, when we go pull that off, you're going to pull all the paint off of it. What? Really? Uh, it's scotch tape. That's not scotch tape. Oh, it's not? It's oh, it's packing tape? Uh, <laughs> scotch tape. Pull it back off then. Yeah, I'll get it. Well, what should I? What's the I don't want to use anything. It well, you told me to take it. would have flattened down. <coughs> yeah, I'll stop it. Yeah. Let's, Uh, Any idea? Huh? Cyber? Where? Cyber. S I B R. Uh, it yeah. was on the. Um, it was. What's it? What's there? Two British infantry. Goes to the Um. Where do you want it? Should that be in the British setup? That's in the Allied control anti Bolshevik forces. It's probably Novosibirsk or Tobolsk. One of those. It's one of these two. <clears throat> oh, there's Cyber right there. Chinese nationalist is done. Who, who set up Chinese nationalists? I did. Neutrals, they're done? No. Oh, they're not? No, I don't even know what the list is. I'm working on these guys. Oh. What about the rest of the nations? Anyone else to set up? So working on Russia, Germany, France, Italy. Germany? That's it? That's it. <clears throat> yeah, and well, we had a draw. Hmm. Something about that's going to change. Everyone's the same except Mike, Italy, and Spain. 
What's up? You're Italy and Japan. This says other forces. Italy and Japan. That's right. I guess these are German forces. Go I don't know. Do we have any um, brown partisans, Russian partisans? Okay. Uh, I've already put some down. I know, I need more. Yeah, there's like German and British setups on this. Oh, yeah. 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 Different yeah. Charges. No, I'm sorry. Oh. They're not, I'm saying Russian. I need white partisans. Neutral. Like a half dozen? Just bring the box. That way we don't have to keep going back and forth. Argentina. I don't know. Oh, wow. It's a little thing. Where's Georgia? No, it could do. Take lunch while he briefs us up on it. Yeah. I was running. Good. Yeah. Maybe it's not marked as that. Should we like mark all of these with something other than the USSR symbol? Mm. Since they're not both of the Sure. We got all the militia markers. We got all those militia markers. <laughs> they're they were all in the Italy box, I think. Did you start a new um, streaming? It's still on. Yes. Yeah, yeah, right. But are you gonna? Yeah, we'll break at launch. We're setting up right now for a break at launch. Short what does this yeah. say? It's one of these down My here. My bank account is still hurting from the stuff from thirty-six. <laughs> I know. That's a good problem to have. Right on the line. No other game has this kind of stuff. Belgium. Uh. You could probably put it. Um, it's killing me. There should be a ton of overlays for this game. There's just one. We, it's going to be the one that's enough. north north of the. Uh, either overlays or just names need to be changed. There's a lot of territories that are not quite the same. No, he's going to have to change the name. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, both of those. I don't know. But not that part. Put it I up guess here. these are German controlled Finnish forces. That on the German sheet. Do well, I want to help with the uh, neutrals? Hey Mike, have you seen the game Combat Infantry from Columbia? No. Usually not a big favor in really tactical games. It's it's a good one. It's a block game played at the battalion company platoon level. Whoa. You have to count your uh, bullets. Darn near. <laughs> Excuse me. We need a French partisan too. No, sorry, Soviet. Soviet. Italian, Soviet. Soviet, French, they're all the same. No. Italian is pretty much about it. I need help on these neutrals. Right. Okay. I've got two sheets of it. Hand me a sheet of neutrals. I like neutrals. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of neutrals. I know. Okay, this has to put one now here. So we're never in there. control. And then neutral. How do you want to represent that, Will? 
Mm. If it's German control, <clears throat> but neutral, like in Turkey. Yeah, there's a lot of those. I've just been putting down German pieces to show German. German. It should be German pieces. Okay. I don't even see okay. neutral infantry. They're over here. What are these roundels for? To mark the neutrals. They're not USSR. Something to make them look different. All right. How are you? How are you trying to represent that? Represent what? The neutral area, like the British control over there. Those are white Russians. Those are British controlled white Russians. But do you need a rondelle there or what? Yeah, we're going to need a rondelle. We're going to need an overlay that marks the extent of Bolshevik control, which is going to be like that. <laughs> so we need a lot of overlays for this thing. I said that earlier. Okay, where's Georgia? You have a militia in Georgia. Trans yeah. Georgia. Um, it's Transcaucasia, basically. Yeah. So there's two militia in Transcaucasia. Well, there'll be an overlay that divides it. Another overlay. Oh, I mean, it'll be it'll be one big overlay for this whole region. I just it's too much. Said, it's too much to do it. Said, you, you we said want to be bundles. A whole new map. We have to cut the string because I'm getting ready to launch on Will Henson. <laughs> you design a game this complicated. Global wars. You design one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Be and very quickly. Go right ahead. <laughs> be my guest. Okay. Does anybody want to? <laughs> Lunch needs a game that takes into account the fact that the Transcaucasian Republic.